on? It's your boy BT, and we're live here on True School Sports. This is the official Sinisa Estrada, Gretchen Abanio, I think that's her name, yeah. live fight reaction. Golden Boy slash The Zone Thursday night fights. As you can see, I'm laying up in bed. I'm laid up in bed. So it's a pretty chill live fight reaction. Let's go, champ. It's a, you know, got pops over there. Let's go, champ. What's let's, up, guys? Let's go, champ. Support that and hit that like button. True School Sports in the house. True School Sports in the house. Been working all day. Literally, guys. I've been fucking working all day on this damn Evander Holyfield exclusive sit down I got recently. It's like 120. I'm damn near two hours of footage I'm going through. I'm roughly about like. I don't know how many, but um, um how, how how far I am through. I, I think I got 20 more minutes left. So I'm, I've gone through 100 minutes of it. You guys will be seeing the videos coming out in the coming days. Also, been working on some of the footage I got from Stacey McKinley's gym, but. I need to mentally I need to mentally decompress from it, so I'm here in bed. Okay, I'm gonna watch Sinisa Estrada. You know, and normally I'll be honest with you guys, I used to try to cover women's boxing a couple years ago on YouTube, but I'll be honest, the talent in women's boxing, in my humble opinion, is so thin that you know there really aren't a lot of women's fighters that I believe are worth covering. I'll be honest with you. So it just really wasn't compelling enough for me to want to keep covering it over and over and over again. But tonight, we have one of the only women in female boxing who I believe can be a star, uh, Anthony Sestrada. She's fighting. And for those of you who are interested in watching some Thursday night boxing, uh, Golden Boys card, as you guys can hear, Jonathan Coachman, Golden Boys card, um, Thursday night fights, you can go find it on ringtv.com. So if you go on ringmagazine.com, ringtv.com, you'll see it right there, right in the front. You hit play, and you get free boxing, free Thursday night boxing. So I'll be here talking about that with you guys. We can talk about... Other things in boxing, whatever you want, you drop it in the comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you uh, comment. Uh, you know, let me know any questions you have in boxing. You drop it down below, and I answer them. I'll answer them in a timely manner. Also, uh, let me know what city, what state, what continent you guys are watching from right now. As we're speaking, we're watching this Golden Boy card, and the first fight of the night it comes in the form of Carlos Caballo, a uh, I believe if he's a bantamweight prospect, he's fighting Esteban Aquino. Now I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit with you guys like I know anything about uh, Carlos Caballo or Esteban Aquino, but I've heard the name Carlos Caballo. And we're going to wait for the first bout. So I'm gonna give you guys my, uh, as you guys can hear, about to do the announcements. But I want to give you guys my actual first impressions of this guy. You know, you never know who who you could be watching, so it's always good to tune into these cards. Big shout out to the Golden Boy Promotions keeping us busy on a Thursday. Boxing on a Thursday. So this will be a six rounder. A six rounder for Carlos Caballo. I believe he's a Puerto Rican. One of the, one of the guys has a Puerto Rican flag in him. Hey, Dad, I think, I think this guy right here, Carlos, I think one of the fighters might, might be the next fair fighter. He's Puerto Rican. And we know how you are. You love all the fighters. I don't know. You're here, you're here, you're, you're here right now. Yeah, the, the prospect that's pegged to win this fight is Puerto Rican. Because the guy they're announcing now is Dominican. I'm talking about Puerto Rico in the house. Let's go, champ. But yeah, drop your comments down below. Ain't nobody commented yet. I know I know, women's boxing ain't everybody's cup of tea. Would well, you like if, 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 if uh, Sanisa Estrada wins tonight, would you guys still like to see her fight? Um, oh, name, huh? Esparza? Yeah, he's had a baby. A while back. Yo, she, not for nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sound really horrible saying this. She, her look, she, de her look declined like hell. Have you seen like recent interviews of her? So what you're telling me is when you get. <laughs> Yo, she's like she was like a seven when she wasn't pregnant. Yes. Oh, this is one of Miguel Cotto's prospects. That's what I'm talking about. Yo. Let's do this. Miguel, you better wake up. Hey, yeah, there you have it. Let's do this. You want me to get in there? Hey, it started working out, guys. You started working out. Tell, 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 tell them about how that's going. Oh, it's painful, but no pain, no gain. And you gotta make sacrifices and make a routine schedule and stick to it. Pay, pay the PT for giving me that advice. Yeah, pay the cost to be the boss. Yeah, that's it. You know the deal. There you go. So make sure you smash that like button, guys. 
Carlos Caballo, he's an 11-0 prospect with 11 knockouts, being built up by Miguel Cotto. He's one of Miguel Cotto's prospects. So I've never seen him before. I feel like I've seen his name somewhere, but he's got fir four first-round knockouts, Carlos Caballo. So this will be my first look at him tonight. You know, could he be the next Puerto Rican boxing star? We just don't know, you know, because it seems like all these young Puerto Rican fighters, they just fall short. Well, you just know that big Puerto Rican female, Amanda Serrano, is all right, so Carlos Caballo in the black trunks with the pink trim versus Esteban Aquino in the yellow trunks with the silver trim. This is Brendan Taylor. This is True School Sports Live Fight Reaction. You know what? I just realized, what am I doing? I'm holding this up like an idiot. Yo, did you think? Give me the tripod. It's right over there. Over there, I think. But yeah, make sure you smash that like button, guys. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Um, I came here live. Normally, I don't watch women's fights, but Sinisa Estrada is my friend. She's someone who's actually pretty good at fighting, so I figured why not? Why not show Sneeze and Stratus some 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 love and you know, cause I didn't make any videos about her card, so oh, okay. You see it? It's right there. Hey, give, give, give me, give me. Give me. Carlos Cabral looking pretty good so far. He's just filling out uh, Esteban Aquino. He caught him early with a couple of flush shots. He's been punching down the stomach, trying to try to lower those eyes and then go back up top. Yeah, let, let me know what you think about him, Dad, as the rounds go on. I'm getting kind of set up because this is kind of impromptu. I didn't think I'd be live yeah. for this one tonight. Oh hey, I love you so. I want you. Oh crap! Yeah, you talk to them for a second, cause yeah. I, I gotta find something. You talk to them for a second. Hey guys, you know who this is? The champ. You know, motivator of all motivators. Anyways, um, uh, like my my son said, the the first card came out as a, a round of uh, six. Uh, Caraballo, yeah, uh, a kingdo from uh from the Dominican Republic. They're in the first round right now. The um. They're just filling each other up, but they're a little active. But to me, the fight of the night is going to be... I'm going for this Puerto Rican guy right here. For, he's signed by Miguel Cotto, Miguel Cotto. And he's 11-0 with 11 knockouts, so that speaks volumes. Um, uh, Videjo better wake up, because this guy might... Who knows? Right now, um, it's going back and forth. Even if I... Oh, okay, and uh, like I said, you know, hit that like button. Um, Sinisa so, so, so Estrada is a coming, she's got a belt, and she's getting better and better in each fight, um, and, and she's going for, for all the glory, so I mean, people love her, she got all our support, and you all should give her the same support, and, and that's why I gotta say, even though Amanda Serrano is, is top dog, Katie Taylor, in women's boxing, um, uh, and, and that, that, the, the last fight with Katie Taylor had was great too. There you have it. So there's, there's that pause. But right now we're in the first round of Carlos Caballo. Big left hand there from Caballo. That one definitely stunned uh, Esteban Aquino. As you can see, this is a, this is a Thursday night car. We're not we're not in big fight Saturday mode. So we laid out. I'm gonna lay out for this one. Y'all got any comments? You can you can let me know. The, you can let me know down below. Ugh. Let me see. My man Robert Guerrero. What's up, champ? Uh, but yeah, Thursday night fights, Golden Boy. You know, uh, Sinisa Estrada is a good fighter. You know, for those of you who don't, who aren't as well versed on Sinisa Estrada, you know, uh, she, very talented fighter. She was an incredible amateur, probably one of the best female amateurs this country's seen, maybe ever. Um, she signed with Golden Boy Promotions last year. You know, um, she built her name up the hard way, fighting girls bigger than her on undercards, triple G fights. Um, you know, she's very influenced by Roy Jones, so she has a very, like, herky-jerky kind of style where she's moving and, and, and countering and, you know, slipping punches and, and just... A re she's a reflex fighter, so she's fun to watch. She's athletic, very fun to watch. And, I, you know, we're all men here, so we can be... We can be... We can be... We can keep it 100. You know, she's extremely attractive, too, you know? And because she's extremely attractive, because she can fight, I think she's probably one of the most marketable along with being one of the most talented uh, women's fighters out there, which I, you know, if women's bo boxing has any hope of succeeding, they're going to need fighters like Denise Estrada to be successful. So we're going to cover her fight here on True School Sports. I mean, 
right now there's only two people two people in here so I don't expect I don't expect a ton of views from this video but I didn't get into this whole boxing for just views alone you know views are great but we cover boxing so right now we're watching Carlos Caballo in the second round against Esteban Aquino and a big left hand there from Carlos Caballo that backed up Aquino for those of you wondering how I'm watching this fight you can go on ringtv.com it'll be right there on the front page you just click play and you get free boxing on, th on a Thursday Carlos Caballo very well schooled Southpaw measuring Aquino up very very well Sweat that low. I know. Ooh! Big left hand there from Carlos Caballo. He loaded up some big shots. Caballo is measuring up from another left hand. Ooh, another left hand from Caballo. I heard him. That one hurt him. Okay, so Carlos Caballo smothering uh, Esteban Aquino. There you go. Double jab, left hand uppercut on the inside from. Ooh! That one laid him out Ooh, cold. Miguel Carlos signing up. I'm Puerto Rican. That boy ain't getting up. Jesus. What a, what a, what a left hand. 12 and 0, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He ain't about. getting up from that one. And that's yeah, it. Yo. That's the second round stop for Carlos Cabal. Vamos, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Miguel Coco. This guy is a lo mejor. Boxer Pagliano de Puerto Rico. I don't know what happened. The junk froze on me. They got knocked out too. Hey, you could, you could. Oh, I got it. He said it. Just hit no. Just hit a. Uh... Okay, I'll use the mouse. Like, stop. okay, go, go, go to the bottom left hand corner. Bottom left hand corner. See where it says pause and play. Yeah. Okay, hit pause and play. Okay, and hit play. Should work now. But yeah, Carlos Cabral just got a second round stoppage for those of you who are just funneling in. Decent, decent looking prospect, you know, didn't really fight anybody of note, but you know, when you're prospecting, you're fighting guys at the level he's fighting them at, you want to see them iron, ironing out these kind of fighters in the first two rounds. Let me, um, let me get up. Let me get up. Hey, I love you so. Yeah, we're live. See, we don't just go live for the big fights. We go live for the small fights, too. Women, everything. Monkeys, yeah, gorillas, yeah. whatever you want. I mean, I'm going to sit down like a proper human being. There's no sense of me laying in my bed like a buffoon. Let me see. Oh, there's 70 in here now. That's nice. Get a YouTube set. Let's go, champ. That was this. Yeah, let's go. Let me get in a good. Let me get in that's why I'm going to blow up this computer. All right. So we're here. We're live. True School Sports. Thursday night fights. Golden Boy in the zone. At the Avalon. Sinisa Estrada versus Grenchen, whatever the hell her name is. Yeah. We don't even care. That's we just it. want to see Sinisa Estrada. That's it. We'll knock this out. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Well, Sinisa Estrada, like I said, is, uh, she's got that belt. Um, they love her uh, at oh, the Avalon in Los Angeles, huh? and uh, <laughs> we're gonna see what she's all about tonight. I mean, you let you guys tell me who your favorite female fighters are, if there's any. Most people don't like women's boxing. I know, so. I mean, about the same. What thing. do you think about women's boxing, champ? Um, I think that uh, this is my son's right about this, and I have to agree with him. Uh, Women want equality and everything, but they don't want to get in the ring and fight for 12 rounds and for three-minute rounds. 
they, they, they complain about not getting paid enough, but they want to be equal to, 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 to men's boxing. And until they realize that they, in order for them to reach that plateau, if they ever read that pla plateau as being uh, equal to men's boxing, fighting the rounds and minutes, uh, they're going to have to go ahead and, 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 and do the do. They, there, there is no privileges. Yeah. And so uh, I, I think that uh, women's boxing is coming up. They're getting more notary as time goes on, and, and they've come a long way. So, yeah, I mean, but I think the biggest uh, discrepancy they have is that they're not getting, as, uh, they're not getting paid as, as a men's boxing is. And that's not going to, in most cases, that's not going to happen unless they start selling tickets. Yeah, and that's, I mean, there's not that many big names in, in, in women's boxing right now that besides the Serrano, the Katie Taylors, uh, break, 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 Clash of Shields. You know, Clash of Shields, Breakers, was it Breakers? Breakers. Mm -hmm. Her, Dispute. There's not that many big girls out there. So until the the, 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 the women's boxing gets more more and more women get more notary get, become better, they're gonna it's gonna go there. But for right now, uh, they, like I said, the only thing I gotta say, if they wanna be equal to men or they want they, they do the same. Uh, time. Start, start fighting yeah. three minute rounds. Yeah. Well, that's also up to the commissions. The commissions are going to have to eventually say, okay, three minute rounds. I mean, well, let, me, let me ask you this. Uh, you named a, a, a handful of women's fighters. Um, who do you think has the best chance to become a superstar out of all of them? And I want to, when you tell me who it is, give me a reason why. Me personally, I like Amanda Serrano all the way around. And the, and the reason why is because she's a, she's a jack of all trades and a master of none, but she's good at what she does. She's, she's actually uh, the first uh, eight div what, seven division champ from Puerto Rico, a women's champion. Once Nobody in Puerto Rico has ever done that. She's doing MMA, uh, MMA and UFC at the same time, and she's a quick learner. Right and, and, and I think she's going to be very talented. That's who I pick. Her and, 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 and the other person that I like also, uh, uh, Katie Taylor's been around, so Katie Taylor's always an established name. And she's done a lot, and she just won the undisputed uh uh, belts. So uh, uh, Clarissa Shields is, is going to be a, a, a big name. It's going to be around for a long time. But my my bet for me, it's going to be Serrano. I disagree with you on that one. What? Who do you think? She's not going to be a superstar. Want to know why? Why? Because she's not a superstar already. She's she'll never be a superstar. She's won a world title in seven weight classes. I've 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 seen Serrano stop girls left, right, and center. Yeah. She's one of the only women out there with legitimate knockout punching power. She's Puerto Rican. It's not gonna happen. It's not. She's a great fighter. Yeah. I respect her, but she ain't gonna be transcending no women's boxing. Okay. Right. Worse than that, will rise up. It ain't, it ain't gonna be Shields either because it's not going to be. Because Clutch of Shields, right. her attitude is the raw is off. Her attitude is off. Okay. Um, she don't be knocking people out. And if you want to keep it 100, if you're gonna be a superstar women's boxing, you gotta be a, a, a certain level of attractive. Okay. Clutch of Shields is not that. She's not. Okay? That's fact. Hey, man. A blind man says she's beautiful. Yeah. Now, I'll, I'll, tell, you I'll tell you what I've been saying for years about women's boxing. When it's all said and done, if there was going to be one women's female superstar, she's fighting tonight in the main event. And that's Ooh. Anissa Estrada. Why? Because she's, she's still relatively young. She's 26. That's one. Two, she's aligned with Global Boy Promotions. That's two. Three, she's fine as hell. She's sexy. Okay. And four, she can fight. She got all the well, ingredients. I mean, you, you, right there, one thing that I will agree with you with that is that, uh, believe it or not, if you don't have a good promoter behind you, she got, she got, she got a big promoter unknown. behind her. But I, I know I'm saying she does, Sinisa, so I'm great. Someone uh, said, check Sinisa's uh, but, IG. She's sexy. She follows me on IG. I'm glad um, IG. She, she checked my IG. But I'm saying, like, yeah, but I'm saying, so, uh, Serrano doesn't have the same promotional that uh And that's why and, she's not gonna and blow that's up. why she's not popular. And she's older. She's more you might as well say she could be, she could be the same she could have the same team as our uh, uh, bronze bomber, who's not getting the same exposure or other fighters if he had the right promotional. She fought on his undercard when I went. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. And you you've interviewed her and everything, right? Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. No, I'm talking about uh Sinisa? Sinisa, yeah. Twice. I interviewed yeah. Today, I, I interviewed Sinisa. Once in 2016 yeah. at the Gonzalez Park. I don't know what it is about her, but lately she's putting all these modeling pictures up there on uh, on uh, Instagram. On Instagram, and then and then the first the first time ever I seen her in the natural whatever you want to call bikini, bikini, bikini whatever it's called, on the, on the WordPress. So she's coming out. She's letting them know, hey, I might be quiet. I'm beautiful inside the ring, and I'm more beautiful outside the ring. Get out my way, cause I'm coming. Yeah.
I actually, what's funny is for those of you watching, I had a, I had an interaction with her on Instagram the other day. Um, so, someone someone made a post about Sinisa Estrada, right? So I posted, I posted, in the, I tagged her and I posted in the comments. I said, I'll whoop Sinisa Estrada in air hockey and in, uh, and, and I want to spar her. And that has significance. That has significance because Nisa Estrada on Instagram did a QA and a recently and, and she asked what our ideal date was and she said air hockey, <laughs> air hockey and pizza. So I said, I'll, smack, I'll destroy you in air hockey. Straight up. So, so that's that, that, might, that, that might, might be the next video. True school sports takes Nisa Estrada out on a date. On a date on and a date. pizza. And whoops her in air hockey. Yeah. But man, Julio Ochoa, big shout out to him. He says, I work out in LA Fitness in Downey, California. Sinisa's sister works out there and she is sexy just like her sis. Wow. Ooh, it's all in the bloodline, baby. Yeah, hey, this man says shoot your shot. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm on the other side of the country, so yeah, I can't yeah, really yeah. shoot my shot. But when wow. we go to LA, when we go to LA, all shots are being taken. Yeah, but when you call me Steph Curry. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I mean, so uh, she is very attractive. Uh, good uh, fighter though, really good, good fighter. Good Do you think she's better than uh, skill wise than uh, because you always talk about uh, Conejo, Conejo. Cornell is a C-class fighter. She can't mind her looks. By her looks, so. But you guys think who's, who's prettier, uh, a Sinisa Estrada or, or uh, Marie Conejo? Are you fucking serious? Marcella, Marcella Mar 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 Conejo. I, I gotta put it out there. The, the guys gotta question. know. The guys That's gotta know what question. time it is. My son says she uh, Conejo's just getting by because yeah. of her looks, not her skills yeah, in boxing. Yeah. No, no. Listen, I met Marcella. I interviewed her once. She was nice to me, but. Let's let's call a spade a spade here on True School Sports. <laughs> Marcella Cornell, nobody's care about Marcella Cornell and, 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 and she didn't look at how she looked, you know. She's, and she's flying it out there. Yeah. So. Let's agree with you. Yo, Julio, let me ask you a question. Have you ever interacted with Sinisa's sister? You brought her up, so I'll ask. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever interacted with her sister? What, what, what's, her, what's her sister like? Right now, we're watching the fights on uh, on Ring TV. You got Doug Fisher doing the commentating. People say I look like Doug Fisher. Do y'all think I look like Doug Fisher? Not even close. I'm a freaking nerd. No, I, I look a bit like him. It's a bit. You don't talk like a nerd. To some people, I do talk like a nerd. Because they don't understand your, your language. Because they don't know boxing. Oh, Jay's an old guy. Yeah, he's an old guy. Doug Fisher, yeah. yeah. You look more like what I'm telling you what's his name. Bruno Mars? Yep. That I, I, I was saying. I'll, I'll look alike, if, if you do, If you do a, a look alike with Bruno Mars, you win. Robert Guerrero says, she is from East LA. She is fine as hell. You damn right. Yeah, what I'm talking about. That Latin blood. Trust me, Sinisa. Trust me, Sinisa. She's older or younger? Trust me, Sinisa is fine. Yeah, I did. She was cool. So he told me where Sinisa works out. They are cool. Yeah, they are cool. I have I have Sinisa's number on my phone. Um, I I, like, I don't talk to her all the time like that because she's in LA. There's no point in me talking to her all the time. But I met Sinisa in 2016. She been following me on Instagram for a couple of years. She stays in tune with what I'm doing. I stay in tune with what she's doing. So and a lot of it is very humble. When I go to LA though, the very ha humble family and they have. Uh, they, they, they have Christian in them, God in them, and you can see ah, yeah, yeah. And, and that, I mean, the father, all the way around, so that, that keeps you uh, more or less intact in how you should carry yourself, and, and, and I think that plays a big part in that. Right now, Golden Way Promotions, uh, there's no fights going on, but uh, they're trying to promote Canelo versus GGG3, which I really don't want to see again. I don't want to see that fight. It's a joke. It's not a joke of a fight. I just don't want to see it. It's a good. Well, the, both fights are good. I just don't want to see the fuckery or anything yeah. like that. Tyson Fury gonna win this weekend, guys? No. Tom Short's gonna beat his ass. Number two of the view. Oh, yeah. we're just fighting this weekend without what's his name? Kid Galahad. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be a good fight. They weren't even talking too much though. I went to Ryan Garcia's event. She fought there and had a whole bunch of fans. Yeah, she did. When I went, when, when I saw her fight in 2016, she gave me a a Sinisa Estrada T-shirt. Yeah. But then I gave it to Alex. So I never gave it to him. I should have kept it. That's all right. She's a, a following. She's a, uh, she has a big following. Shoot your shot before the fame. Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> I need, to, I need to get out to LA soon. Gotta do, gotta do what the dudes did. Everything's about timing.
Just so you guys know, uh, next Saturday will be the rematch between Alberto Machado and Andrew Cancio. Hopefully Machado doesn't get Puerto Rico, baby, we're we'll going to come back this time. We're going to show him what time it is. What do you think about Carlos Caballo that just fought? Very impressive. Impressive? I like, the, I like what I see from him. He's got power. Well, he's punching and everything. And the best of all, he's, he signed with Miguel Cotto. I guess Cotto spotted him his talent right away. So, yeah, he's got a, a, a Hall of Famer like that, a legend like that from Puerto Rico. It's a good thing. Okay. Um, someone asked uh, Andrew Tabidi or Junior or Dortico. Oh, my God. Yes, he's up the other day. Um, I'm going to go with Tabidi. I'm taking Tabidi. I've said that before. I, I don't know. I just, I see the, 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 what is his name, in uh, the World Boxing Series thing. And, and in the early round, the little fights he had, and he, he, he really didn't impress me. Julio, got, Julio has with Tico's. He's probably a tough Cuban fighter. I'm not going to take that away from him. He, I mean, it's not easy to get what he's got, but yeah, it could happen. My man said big money. You know? Ray Vargas versus Toki Kamita. That should be a good fight. Who you guys got? Who, what, uh, who was, uh, was it Taylor? Or who's fighting? Uh, not Taylor. Uh, Josh Taylor? Who's fighting, who's fighting in, uh, in WBC? TD and him and then somebody else. It's, there's two fights. And 140? No, not 140, but they're fighting for the uh, TD and... Uh, and uh, Chris Lockovacki versus Marius Vitas. Yeah. Who is that? You don't even know anything about Lovacki, do you? No, I'm taking Vitas, though. I'm only taking Vitas because he's in Latvia, <laughs> where he's from. Yeah. I think Lovacki is a better fighter, to be honest with you. Yeah? But I, I'm going for, I think Vitas will be because he's in, he's in Latvia. Wait, is that political because he's yeah. from there? Yep. Are you serious? Yep. I think it'd be a close fight. Yeah. I'm not really. I've always thought Breeders a bit overrated. For real? I thought it was overrated. I like I like Lovaki better. I like to see uh, Kovalov and uh, uh, go go into that tournament and uh, Kovalov and uh, all the champions. And one? Yeah, man, yeah. I like to see that. Cause I guess the Anthony fight. I mean that uh, Anthony fight. Uh, that uh, what's the name? The Beast from the East. Y Yard Anthony fight. Yard. Yeah, it's not happening. Yeah, so we're live here on True School Sports. Yeah, and I'm, I want to give a big shout out to my main man Julio for the for the information. I yeah, um, appreciate that, bro. Um, Tanisa Estrada. Yo, I'm not lying. She like fantastic fighter. She, I, I told you this many times off camera. She reminds me a lot of my ex girlfriend. It's weird. Yeah, it's like the weirdest thing in the world. Does she drive a Jeep too? Who? Who? Tanisa? Yeah, I don't know what she drives. Who knows what she drives? The girl she's fighting like 18, 12, or no. 1 or something. The girl she's fighting had like a bad record. Yeah? Like 18, 12, and 1 or something like that. The co-main event. Glenn Porres versus some other guy. Who you guys got for the Thurman and the Pack yet when they fight? Pack. That's going to be a good fight. Porter. I got Porter. <laughs> jokes tonight. Julio said Pac. Pac man? Yes, I got I'm on with, I'm with you on that one. He's gonna give, give a piece of humble pie to uh Keith Thurman. How you guys think Josh is gonna come this back? This man said Pac yeah because there's no steroid testing. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Why do people bring up shit from way up from my Mayweather this time? The man's been around, he's around for a long time and I don't Warrington know. versus Kid Galahad. Woo! That's gonna be a good fight. We'll go with Josh Warrington. Warrington been talking a lot. Does this whole thing start it? They say um, they say those they say people from Leeds where he's from Leeds in the UK Yorkshire. Oh, yeah. Talk a lot. Yeah, he's been talking, rambling, blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Um, but Kid Kelly looks like, like he's ready for him too. He wants some smoke. Uh, I don't know much about Kid Kelly, so I'm gonna have to go. I just like that. punches hard. That's all I know about him. That's enough. I you. know he punches hard, and Michelle Joy Phelps is always interviewing him on, on the bed. Please get on that. I'm not gonna go down that far. I mean, anyways, uh, I'm gonna take Warrington on that one. Oh man, that'd be I mean, like literally, literally the way me and you are sitting is that this is how Michelle Joy Phelps interviews okay, together. Okay, come on. Well, I'm not no Michelle, <laughs> by no means. <laughs> Fight fans? Yeah. Oh man. You guys agree that uh, Fury should be the number one heavyweight? Of course. And when Joshua comes back, what do you guys think? Is the same result? Or Joshua gonna what destroy? Do you think? What do you think? I honestly think he's gonna destroy Royce. Destroy. Uh, he's gonna destroy Royce in, 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 in Madison Square Garden, where he lost his first fight and he lost his belt. And he's gonna show them up this time. 
Only thing he's gonna destroy is some weights. He's not destroying the reason no man is regarded him. He's coming back with a vengeance, but then he's gonna get them belts. And I want him to win, but come on. No, not that bad. Fucking, you know, he's not gonna destroy um. Let's see. Oscar Rivas versus Dillian White. It's a good fight. Oh, uh, it's a tough fight. Dillian White. Give me Dillian White. I'm gonna take Rivas. He's an underdog. He's tough. Rivas. Yeah. Wow. There I mean, you he go. Surprised me that last time when uh. My son told me that, that uh, Jennings, Jennings is not no Dylan White, but I, I like his power. If you watch his training on Instagram, he, he, he's got powerful Two punches, steps. and I and I think he can do something. He, he, but it, but he can't sleep on Dylan White because he's got some power. Too stiff. You think so? Too stiff. <laughs> hey, seriously? Too stiff. He's gonna throw a right hand. White's gonna catch it. Left hook. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I, I think Robert Guerra agrees with you though. He said he, he thinks Robert yeah. he thinks uh, Dillian White could uh, or, or yeah. Rebus could be Dillian yeah. White. The reason I say that is because the last time when, we, when I seen him, I, I was screaming, "Yeah, Jennings! Yeah, Jennings gonna get him! What is he gonna get?" Next thing I know, this guy came from nowhere. Pull, 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 pull! The fight was out lights out. Like, no, I'm watching the replay. I'm watching something a different movie, different channel because I was really surprised. So I, I mean, he impressed me with the way he actually ended up that fight, and I and I think he's gonna give Dillian White. And Dillian White was talking a lot of shit too. I'm tired of him too. He could have fought Joshua. He could have had the belts. But no, he wanted more money. So sit back and be quiet. Wait your turn. Yeah. So there you go. Hard-hitting boxing analysis from Pops. Yeah. But right now, we're getting ready for the co-main event. Make sure, listen, please do me a favor. There's eight of you in here right now. Make sure you smash that like button down below. There's only been one like so far. Smash Come that on, like button that, down that. below. On, guys. So you can you let know? YouTube know that you're walking with your boy, BT, and True School Sports. That's it. Uh, let me know what city, what state, what continent you guys are watching from and where you're shooting from right now. We're in, uh, right now, we're in Hollywood, Florida, not in Dania. We're yeah. Hollywood. Hollywood. We're in Hollywood, Florida, watching the fights in yeah, yeah. Hollywood, California. Yeah, Hollywood, Florida, Hollywood, California. Andy has a great trend, I agree. Andy's very durable. Jennings versus Joe Joyce. I'm taking Joyce. Yeah, Joe Joyce. I like Jennings, but coming off a tough loss. Yeah. On the road. Never really, like... Mastered one specific specific part of boxing. He's a really athletic fighter. Good at a lot of things. Great at nothing. Uh, Joe Joyce breaks him down, stops him in the middle rounds. That's the, yep. that, that's my. Uh... But then again, it could be an interesting fight because Jennings is like or Joyce is slow as molasses. It's like. I didn't know that. He told me that Achilles said that. I didn't know he's that slow. But I mean, he, he's got some power or something behind him. There's something he does. I mean, that, that's the only weakness you see in him? What? That he's slow? Yeah. He's a good fighter. He's good, good, te good technically. Yeah. yeah. Julio Ochoa says, I'm 15 minutes away from East LA, Bell, California, Florence Street. Shout out to Florence Street. So I'm talking about. I remember when I when I stayed in LA from that like week or so that I was there, I was in Inglewood. Yeah. I was in Inglewood. Do you like it? Yeah, it was nice. I love, I love LA. I want to go again. All them beautiful women all over the place, right? I love LA. I wanna go, <laughs> I, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go yeah. this year if I can. Seriously? I'm trying to go. If I go to England, if I can. If I can get, if I can get a visit to LA, <laughs> if I go to England, I'll, I'll be happy. Fish beer of boxing. Weed is legal. I, I don't smoke, so it's out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Those that need it. I don't need. Take don't. it med 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 medically or not medically. It, 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 it respect whatever you want to do. Is this all man says shops everywhere. Hey, fair play to you guys. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need marijuana to get high. I'm high off life. Yeah. High off life. I don't need. To, I don't need marijuana. To each his own, though. All right. So come in event. We're getting ready to watch. Glenn Porras, super bantamweight, 33, or 32, 8, and 0 with 20 KOs. 33 from the Philippines. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Julio. Is it? Talking about strippers being fine. You could just imagine, they all, I mean, they got some fine places here, too. You know what I say? Wherever you go, it's gonna be. It's always fine women. Mm -hmm. Why be a nanner? Strippers anywhere. I feel like I see this guy fight. Oz Hot Hoy. Hey, who this guy fight? He's got Freddie Roach behind his corner. That's all I need to see. 
That doesn't mean anything. What the hell does that mean? That was good. Freddie Roberts is an overrated trainer. Oh my God. He's one of the most overrated trainers in boxing. Are you serious? We would have him or we would have, uh, what's his name? Virgil Hunter? Yeah. Oh, come on. That's not, that's not fair. <laughs> Virgil Hunter. <laughs> I've seen fighters with Freddie Roach. Alberto Machado was trained by Freddie Roach. But he's fought. still training with Freddie Roach. Yeah, he got folded up training to Freddie Roach. You know, a lot of people in boxing think Freddie Roach is an overrated trainer. I don't think so. I mean, Manny Pacquiao, he made Manny Pacquiao. How can you say that? I think he is. That's, that's what I think he is. It's, it's like what you're he's saying. He's a good trainer, it's but like I think he's overrated. He's about, uh, what's he's the name we just talked over. about? He only made Andre Ward. And, and, and no, no, no. He's never made anybody. Oh. No, he, he's no. made nobody. Manny, Manny, Manny Pacquiao. He made Manny Pacquiao. Why did Manny Pacquiao choose him there? <laughs> Come on now. Jesse Hart versus Sullivan Brer. Who do you got? Might steal the show. Honestly, I think that, my, that, that has a chance to be the fight of the year. Because um, they're also vulnerable and they're both chinny and they both lose big fights. So, I, don't, I can't tell you who I'll pick. You know, uh, conventional wisdom tells me that. I don't even know. I, I don't even know who to pick. I don't want to pick either one of them because anytime I pick either one of them in big fights, they both let me down. And that's that's, that's my same thing on that. I, pick, I had Sullivan Bear in the last couple of fights he's had, and guess what? Each time I'm yelling for him and screaming for him and rooting for him because I think he's going to be the win, what he does, he always disappoints me. Yeah. Um, so I, to me, it's like flipping a coin in the air, heads or tails, which one you want. Uh, I was at I, I, I know I've seen this guy fight before, but I can't remember who he fought. Good left hand there with the body by Porus. This is a 10 rounder. Yeah, Porus is in the pink and the white trunks. This guy, this guy has a funny name. I can't say his name. Hovanesian. He, from from he is, and he's got that very straight up European style where, you know, you, you know, yeah. you can go to the body, but he's very straight up, one, two, hook. So somebody goes to that liver on him. Why and that's what you see Poor is poor, targeting that liver. That's why. He's got good footwork, though. He yeah. comes, he slips to the right, shifts, and then creates a new angle. And he's landing some real sharp shots. Leave it on, leave it on. Leave it on. Yeah. Nice return left from and the Avalon's like a small little, uh, right? The Avalon? Small. Right? Very small. It's a very small venue. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, I, I, I never heard of it. And I hear it's a small venue. Yeah. Hey, Julio, is the Avalon a small venue? It looks like a small venue on TV. You educate me because I don't know much about it. Yeah. It sounds like a small venue. It looks like a small venue, so I'm assuming it's a small venue. Could be like the Hard Rock, maybe? No, I think it's... Look at that. That's smaller than the Hard Rock. That's way smaller than the Hard Rock. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Hope doing a really good job hooking and jabbing and letting really, you know, flush punches so far on Porus. He's got 40 professional bouts and he's been in some tough fights, so there is definitely some wear and tear on that fighter's O'Donnell. And Porus comes and presses forward, trying to press the action. No power, though. Yeah, you can, you can see right off the rip that yeah. Hope is definitely the sharper uh, of the two. Yeah. Truthfully, I just want to see Sinisa Estrada fight. Like, no disrespect to any of these guys. I'm going to watch the fights. I'm going to enjoy them. I, I just want to see Sinisa Estrada fight. And tell you about it quickly because the round, round's only two minutes. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it, five, four rounds or three rounds? Maybe eight or ten. Probably ten. Okay. Probably sometimes last. If I see it again, that's all. She might stop the girl because ever since she signed with Golden Boy, because, you, know, you, know, you know, I don't know if you know this, but early in her career, before she was signed to Golden Boy, she was fighting... Two weight classes above her natural weight. Right. So she she really her natural weight class is around 108. She was fighting girls 115, sometimes even 118. Wow. And beating them, but she wasn't getting no stoppage victories. Exactly. But ever since she came back to her natural weight class, she's been stopping girls left and right. That's what she believes. It's, it's the same thing like you were saying about Granados. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Same thing. He said. She went to a weight class at the Switch of Lungs. Look at Freddie Roach. I'm doing my baby, I'm doing my baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's how he talks. He's like, There's something wrong with Brendan. What do you think, Brendan? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. That's just like. Right combinations. 
That's how he sounds. Does he not sound that way? Yeah, but it's because he has some kind of issue. Help issue. Good right hand there from uh, Hovanesian, though, as you can see. And you see him change the angle and go right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, right left hook. So a clear advantage in speed, precision, skills, pedigree from Hovanesian. We end up the second round. This is the co-main event of what figures to be a very short card. Yeah. Um, it was just three fights, right? Yeah, Thursday night fights. Golden Boy on the zone. If you guys want to watch the fights, you can go to uh, yeah. ringtv.com. It'll be right over there. Like Didn't he really just say that? He's just announces here, man. I swear to God. You know what I noticed about LA L LA media members? LA media members always had the shit out of LA, the LA boxing scene. Now, I'm not going to listen. LA it has a fantastic boxing scene. Yeah. I'm not going to discredit it. This dude just called Wild Card Gym the new Kronk Gym. There's only one Kronk Gym. Yeah. Only one. And, 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 he, and he relates to the, one of the guys that was original. I, 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 I'm going to have to have a word with Doug Fish about that. I'm, I might tweet his ass after this fight. Yeah. I might tweet him. You got my, you got me fucked up. Yeah. This is the okay. L a wild card gym is the new Kronk gym. Not even close. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the second round of Hovanesian versus Porus. Oh, Hovanesian's having his way with him so far. Um, you know, coming right, to, right, right down the middle. Now he's beginning to press forward and, and walk him down and back him up. And there you go. Pull right hand, from pull right hand lead counter on Porus. And he's backing him up. I think he's got more power too. He's got more power. He's got more strength. Got more skills. Quick hands, quicker hands too. You know, Porus just looks outgunned in every single department. And I'm not, I don't, I don't know much about Porus, but, I, but what I, from what I saw from his record, he's a 40 fight veteran. I don't yeah. know if he's only fought in the Philippines, but 40 fight veteran. Yeah, I mean, you got the guy standing right in front of him. He's not doing much. Philippi ain't doing nothing. Not doing nothing. Well, he's been around for a minute, too, so he's yeah. like a washed up, you know? Some program on the street, guys. Well, for those of you wondering, we'll be, we will, in fact, be live for the Tyson Fury Tom Schwartz fight, so you will get a live fight reaction for that exactly. as Tyson Fury makes his uh, Las Vegas debut against Tom Schwartz, who, but if you didn't know, is ranked number two in the WBO. Wow. That's a big good fight then. Careful. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna get a stoppage. At the same time, he's gonna, uh, she's gonna beat the shit out of Tom Schwartz. Fury said that he'll never go to Las Vegas until he actually fights there, and he's living his dream. Mm -hmm. So Hovanesian has Porus back up on the ropes, and, it, and he looks like he'll get a stoppage any minute. Now he's just pouring it on the guy. Yep. He's just pouring it on, beating him from pillow to post, corner to corner, body shots, hooks, straight rights. Another one. What is the referee looking at? She's about to stop it. She's about to get hit with her. She's to clip on the right hand if she gets any closer. <laughs> yeah, you, for those of you who are, who are watching the fight, they got a woman referee, this black girl, and like they get Big as a moose. Big as a moose. She's probably bigger than, <laughs> she's bigger, she's bigger than both the guys Excuse in the ring. Me. Yeah, and, excuse um, me. Excuse me, yeah. Literally, this guy is getting peppered with straight right hands and left hooks. And like literally, the guy is throwing combinations and she's just inching her way closer and closer in front of her. I said, if she don't... If she don't move out of his way, she's about to get clubbed with a right hand or straight across the head. Yeah, that's a year. Coconut water? Yeah. It's not the one you like, but... Yeah. Dazzin. It's better than beer. I just started working out, so yeah. Not beer. What's it called? Azul? Azul? Yeah. Azul coconut water? Yeah. You got any good? Yeah. Let me get a can. Let me get a can of that. Let me get a can of that. But we're live here on True Sweet. Let me try a little bit, Brandon. Try this one first if you like it. Too sweet. Too sweet? No, it's good. It's the best cooking water I've ever had. I thought it was the other one you liked. No, no, this is best. The other one is like the most popular one, but this one. The other one is not as sweet as I like. It's sweeter. I like this. This yeah. tastes like more like coconut. Yeah, so third round. Hobanesian versus Glenn Porus. You know, both these guys trying to work their way into title contention. It's not going to go 10 rounds, bro, really. It's not going 10 rounds, nah. This guy, this guy. Oh, big right hand from Hovanesia. And what he's doing is, he's throwing a jab, stepping back, and wow, then boom, with a right hand, and he's doing to the floor. So we're, we're, we're patiently awaiting Sinistia Estrada. Let's the go, Superman, champ. Superman, the superwoman of all boxing. Let's go, champ. 
Tom Schwartz is a beast. Don't sleep on this dude. Uh, I don't know much about him. Um, I just know that Sinek got he. I know that Sinek Gashi was giving him hands, and Sinek Gashi is trash. Well, not trash, but he's not like world level. He's not Tyson Fury. Well, yet. I mean, to be fair, my son did say he was uh, ranked what number two. Was he? It's a joke when I say oh, that. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Whenever I say that, I, I keep saying that because Tyson Fury says it in every oh. interview to justify so why he's not. He's he no ranking at all. No, he is ranked, but it don't mean anything. Oh. Like when boxing rankings don't have any bearing on whether is he better than the first fight of Tyson Fury fought? And his comeback, oh, he's teeing off on this dude. Jesus. Yeah, it's done. He'll close it out. Can, we, can this woman stop the fight? Jesus. I think she's the club with the right hand before she, she punched drunk. How can you not see that? Oh man, he's tired. I've been fighting 40, 40 fights. Yeah, Glenn Poirce has nothing left. He's gonna get he's gonna get pieced up and get out get get out of here real soon. Uh, for those of you also, a, a couple other programming reminders here on True School Sports. So I mentioned the live fight reaction. Yeah. Um, that that'll be on Saturday, and um, I got a, a ton of Holyfield uh, clips coming out. So for those of you who have been, been enjoying all the Bow and Holyfield stuff, the stuff that's been coming out. There's a barrage. There's a ton more yeah. clips coming out. Probably about a good five to eight more clips coming out of, over, uh, over the next yep. week or so. Fully, just Holyfield. Like I, I did a long two-hour sit-down with him a couple of weeks, a couple, about two weeks ago that I never, I never put out. What's funny about it, all the good time you talk talking was always impromptu. Oh, It's never planned. It just happens. And you got, and you, and you, and thank God the camera is there, you know? Yeah. All right. There he goes. He's got the big car. Boom. Straight right hand on the pipe. Come on, yeah, finish this face. Finish, Bro. finish, stop the fight. This this girl referee is one of the worst referees I've ever seen. Jesus, this guy's getting destroyed. Yeah. He's getting pieced up. She, she looks, you know, the like a she box of fried chicken at Pablo. He's getting yeah. pieced up. Shit, Popeyes. Popeyes. Yeah. KFC. Look at his face. I like how she just like gets real close to them and does nothing when this. This guy doesn't want to be there no more. No, and, and she hasn't stopped it yet. He continues to stay on his feet. Oh, he asked me. She asked me. She said, "I'm very concerned." <laughs> she just told. She told the Philip uh, Glenn. Glenn uh, what was his eyes. She said, "I'm very concerned." Fucking stop the fight. The guy's getting pieced up. He hasn't showed any fight the last two rounds. Jesus, I'm very concerned. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. After the third or fourth sip, this gets this, this is like really strong. Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. It just sweet. That first sip was really good. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, fourth, fifth sip, not so oh, much. Yeah. But it's still good though. You use the other the brand, that's why. BT, settle a debate for me. Katie Taylor is cute. I think my homie says. I think my homie says she ain't. Look, Katie Taylor is. She's what I call an AAC. It's an acronym. You know what AAC stands for? Yeah. Average ass chick, okay. She's not ugly, but she's not to me. She's not pretty. There are some times where she gets dressed up where she looks prettier than others. But I, you know, K Taylor for me is not like the prettiest female boxer. But she's a hell of a fighter. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Now, Sinisa Estrada, oof. She Beauty is in the eye of listen, the beholder. Listen, listen. So if you like that Irish lady, go for it. You listen. Know? If you like that leprechaun, you, you like that Shamrock, go for it. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Listen. Last night when you were sleeping and I, and I was live on YouTube at like two in the morning, walking around. I went on a long rant about how I'll never get married and have kids. See, this Estrada is so fun. I might, I might, I might just change my whole ideology on all that stuff. And ain't too many women, that, ain't too many women that I'll say that about. But see, this Estrada is one of them. And she, honestly, she, she, she's pretty nice too. She's a nice girl. Yeah. If such a thing existed, you know. So uh, did, they, did he give you the right answer on that on the Irish girl? We go for that. Uh, I don't girl. think I, I, to me she's average. No, I don't think she's ugly. I, mean, I don't think he's using that as well. Well, he might think he's average. Might be good for your homeboy. Nah, boy. normally what I think is honestly most times like what I think is people don't agree with me by my standards. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just telling him you can't you can't hate on his friend because he likes her. Joe Joe told me to tell you that uh, he would kiss Katie Shera. That's right, it's gonna be your good luck too when you do it. Oh, man. <laughs> this is, this is, this is Woo! 
Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You get a lot of luck on that one. This is supposed to be a family friendly show on True School Sports, and it turns into a bunch of filthy perverts. I like that. But here we go again. This guy's on the guy on the ropes. He's just teeing off on him. Stop the fight. Stop the damn fight already. This guy's getting killed. Oh my god, again. His legs are giving out on him. His legs are giving out on him. Stop the fight. What's the commissioner for this? Bro, this, this referee is horrible. She don't know what the hell she's doing. Bro, how many times is this guy gonna. There you go. There you go. She finally waved it off. Yeah. They finally stopped the fight here in the fourth round, so. Hovadisi and can stop it over Glenn Poros here in the fourth round. Dominating fight from start to finish. Beats the crap out of the guy from pillar to post. Killed him. Killed him. Literally. Absolutely killed him. Iced him. Pieced him up. For some reason, it's not good to be in the corner with some fighters. That was, I mean, his time is up. You can tell. He had, what, 30 fights? Or how many fights he's had already? 40. He's done. Oh, the guy that's in the middle of the gym. That, um, I can't remember his name. This is in his corner. You think so? He's figuring it out now. Do you think boxing is dangerous? <laughs> I mean, body shot. Boom! That straight right hand on the pipe was when killing he, him. When he, when he was standing in the face all the whole time, that, that was the end of it. Oh, right hand! Boom. See what uh, really pulls him out of his favorite gloves. The best gloves. Grant. He said Grant. He's the best gloves he had. He said. But yeah, Katie Taylor, average, average to me. Very. Hey, kiss that shamrock. I'll bring you a lot of luck. The luck of the average, baby. Do your thing. Her voice is hilarious. Who's that? Katie yeah. Taylor. Sounds like she just ran. For, every time she talks, she sounds like she just ran five miles. Yeah. <laughs> Man, lopsided punch that. This guy landed 123 punches to 43, according to Comfy Box. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know where Glenn Porras landed 43 punches. He might have thrown 43 punches. He didn't land 43 punches. <laughs> no way. No. This card doesn't even sound exciting. You know that? Who? This card. Like it's not, there's no home. Doug, Doug Fisher? I mean, John, John, the coach, and Doug Fisher. Not the, Doug Fisher is a good commentator, but you, you need someone exciting to, to, to bring, to, to, yeah. to get the best out of him. Living this way. Oh, he signed the Golden Boy, too. He signed the Golden Boy, and he changed to Freddie Roach. Let's go, champ. Armenia, stand up. Azat Hovanishian. So he improves to 17 and 3 of 14 KO. So good stuff for him. Not a bad rep, Getting back into title contention. We fought somebody and lost to him. I can't remember who it was. Wasn't he champion or something? They said he was, he was champion. Uh, he's an all action fighter, but he's a thinking boxer as well. They say English good. Oh, he's saying he wants TJ Dohany or Daniel Roman. That's the division he's in. Okay. Daniel Roman, TJ Dohany. Those are the top dogs. Yeah, they, they, they fought on the undercard of uh, Gael Estrada versus Romasad rematch. Okay. We didn't watch that because remember the, the, the situation that was going on? Yeah. That we won't talk about on camera from that situation with, uh, yeah, the, yeah. with that certain person. So you missed that fight. Daniel Roman won that fight. 
Ray Barker, bring him up. First, maybe TJ. 122. He's at 122. Like, he's. If, if I was a professional fighter, this, he's the way because I'd be in. I'd be fighting. I'd, I'd fight him. That's what, that's what they tell you. Bo and, and Holyfield tell you, you beat all of them. You got a hard punch, but you punch hard. I'm fast, too. Yeah. Very fast, too. But now, you stay with that. Yeah, like, if I was a boxer, I'd fight against Daniel Roman. That, that, that'd be my weight class. I right, Dog Bay. Okay. Oh, I think that bow. Okay. Rig Rig Rigandel. I retired Rigandel. Woo! Retired that boy. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Retired that boy. But yeah, we're live here on True School Sports. We're just moving yeah. away from Sneeze Estrada. Uh, I believe this will be, what, third or fourth fight on Golden Boy? So, you know, yeah. big shout out to her. Climbing the ladder. Trying to build her name up. Drop some comments, guys. Drop some comments down below. Let's talk. Let's talk. This is this, this is a pretty lot, a chilled out fight fight reaction because like again, it's not a big card. It's a special extra for you guys. Hey, this this is bonus coverage, you know. This is bonus coverage for you guys. Can I get, can I get some water? Yeah. <laughs> Thursday night fights. Yeah, I need to go to LA soon. I I, I need to get her like a proper like tour of LA because I went when I went to LA. I was brushing the whole time. I was there. Didn't that guy show you or something? Who? I thought you had that the chubby guy. Raphael? <laughs> Tell Raphael? What chubby? I don't know what you're talking about. Probably a lot of things I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about LA when I was in LA. Yeah. Yep. I do. So you have fun with that. Let me see if there's any comments I missed back back uh What do you think about Josh coming back? Is he gonna win? Do I think he's gonna win? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Michael Foster's still here, but what, what, what hotel is this? The Taj Mahal. I, I can't. It's the Taj Mahal. We can't tell you what hotel it is. <laughs> we, we, when they serve you a coconut water. Azul. Listen, Coach Mel. He was telling me coconut water is good. It's great. I don't know what it does. You it helps your, your immune system, gives you stamina. When I first started boxing, I used to drink coconut water. Yeah? Like, you don't need it. I, I, you, like, need. you need it. Your boy, Coach Mel. Look me up. He, he, he start, you start working out with Coach Mel. Y'all can get a shake together. I would do I would, I like, I, I wanted to ask him. I forgot to ask him. I was like, yo, can you still think... We're going to go on that one for sure. For Wilder? Yeah, so you still think that we get uh, undisputed. Did you put that video out yet? For what? You have a No, I haven't put out anything from that day yet. I just edited the first video from that day with, with Big Trev. So much shit to do. People don't understand. Yeah, boxing is not like. I, I wish, I, wish I covered another sport sometimes because, like, you get a break. Yeah. <laughs> You break here, you lose dinner You take one break, you take a day of break in boxing. You're done. You're done. You you a month behind. <laughs> but yeah, we're live here on YouTube for Sneezy Estrada's fight tonight on Golden Boy. Uh, Golden Boy in the zone, Thursday night fights. You know what I'm saying? Stay hydrated, drinking water. My son's gonna marry a Mexican girl. Remember what I tell I'm you? I'm not getting married. My son's gonna have a socialized with American girls. I'm not I'm not getting married. I might. They're gonna call him the mail carrier. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, if I have kids, I'm having have kids out of wedlock. Do you know why they're gonna call him the mail, mail carrier? Why? So he pick up those missing beautiful girls like envelopes and stamp them and let them go. That's messed up. It's all fun, it's all fun, man. Right? <laughs> Thursday night fights I'm here on True School Sports. Bonus cover. I wonder how, yeah, I wonder, I mean, what's their rating with this for them? Who knows? Uh, right now, I, I, I don't know if you can see the top left hand corner. Yeah. There's 133 people watching this right now. Oh, wow. See it? 
Yeah, on that, they say there, no? Not here, no, no. Not oh. mine, on there. There's only five people watching this. Oh, on this show. Yeah. Damn, I'm not allowed. Boxing scene has now become relevant, visible. Women's boxing is not relevant. You think women's boxing is relevant? Not even close. She's kind of like a new pioneer. Now, when she was a girl, there were... Famous female fighters like Layla. What are you talking about when she was a girl? Uh, Lucia Riker, a younger girl. Christy, oh, younger I thought, girl. oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the way he said it. <laughs> no, 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 but for her, it's money. It's money. You got to put them. They don't make enough money. She's got to find a way to make my own money. A boxer goes to the ring and make that. a ten. I don't believe in that. You don't believe in the hype? I just believe. I believe if you're competent enough to get yourself in the right situation, you'll make the money. That's true. A la Sinisa Estrada. Hey, she went. She went in. Uh, in uh, she, she, the last HBO uh, thing they had. They, they, yeah, they didn't want to put her on on TV, but they promised they were, and she fought it, and she got it. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't the ratings. <laughs> Big shout out to my, my my main man who's at the fight. He probably won't. He still need to watch my channel, but he won't see this. My man, fight Mike, fight. Oh yeah, yeah. Mf boxing. He's got a good. Actually, he got. A, I mean, he just started. All out. he does is cover women's boxing. Women's boxing. Just, I mean. I was messaging. I messaged. I messaged today. I said, Yo, Mike. But how you cover women's boxing? How, how is all yeah. you do all day is cover women's boxing? And he's like, Oh, there's so much talent in women's boxing. Yeah. I'm like, Where? There's like six great women's fighters. Yeah, but I was telling my son is that uh, if you got that one one person, whether it's your best friend, whether it's the pastor, the preacher, whoever, who, the policeman, the fireman, whoever it is that actually went gave you motivation while you were going through fighting through cancer, fighting through whatever ailment you had, and, and you, even if you had that one person in your corner the whole time, you gonna give respect to that. And, I, and and for him, it wasn't his homeboys, it wasn't his best friends, there was nobody else besides his you know, probably close knit family and that girl that called him every day. So for him, he wants to give was a fighter. Huh? She was a fighter. She was? Oh, but she never said his name, right? She never said who it was. Yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, it was, she played a big part in, in his healing process and, 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 and supporting him. So you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta look at it that way. So he's actually... So now he covers all, all of, he yeah. covers all the women's boxing. I said, man, you better than me because I couldn't do that. Right. I'll be honest with you. The, the, the best fight I've seen in women was the other day. Kane Taylor with Duffy Pursuit. That was the best fight I've seen. Other than that, if I watch any other fights, I'd rather be going out. Have you ever seen Sinisa Shot to actually fight? Yeah, I watch, I watch your fights. I like the fights. I'm saying, but as far the best action for action was that right there, Katie Taylor and uh, what's the name? I mean, sometimes I watch women boxing, I fall asleep. If I'm not mistaken, Sinisha debuted as a pro on a Golden Boy card at Fantasy Springs many years ago. Um, then went on to fight uh, local. Was a matchmaker. Owners. Yeah. And then most recently, when we signed her, it was something that. Really brought you know joy. She was only the second female fighter, or third that we had signed uh, as a company in Golden Boy, but it made all the sense in the world. I mean, it was an East LA girl. That girl she's so fighting has like a amateur boxing and thing on. And here we got to look at Sinisha in the past. People could say you know she was a very good boxer, not a big puncher. She's been knocking and putting opponents out. So I see again in every fight improvement. Sinisha's fighting probably one of the most experienced opponents to date. She's fought for the title, contended for the title a couple of times, come up short. However, she comes in with that experience of having fought for the title. And Sinisha, again, although she's a title holder of a regional belt, hasn't fought for the world title. So we're hoping to gauge that and see where she gets next. I think she, she is. Every time Sinisha improved and gotten better, and I think we're going to see her fighting for world title. You gotta, be like, you gotta be like really good for that matchmaking shit, right? You gotta really watch all levels of boxing and understand what it is you're watching. It's like, it's like baseball when you watch it all the... You gotta really know what it is you're watching. You gotta be like Henry. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be like Henry. Shout out to my man Henry. But yeah, we're moments away from uh, Sinisa Estrada's fight. I'm looking forward to seeing all, what she produces on the night. Yeah. You know, big shout out to Sinisa Estrada. She's fighting. She never really got a good... Got hit with a big shot, has she? Yeah. I think it's easy to get hit with big shots. I mean, there's not a ton of punches on one's boxing. Yeah. 
Who the, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of who the biggest puncher around her weight would be. Um, I'm not sure if this girl's around her weight. I'm not, I'm not even sure if this girl's a big puncher. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe Mariana Juarez? You ever heard of Mariana Juarez? Yeah, he's talking about that Mexican fighter. Baby uh, something? Yeah, they wanted to fight. Um, I don't know how she got power like that. I, I don't think, know if she has power. I I'm think just, Sinisa has more power than Sinisa's that. Sinisa's punch from what I, you know, for her weight. Yeah. At her natural weight, she can punch. That's why she's going to stay there. She places her shots real good. Punches from weird angles. Yeah. Fast, quick twitch, you know. And most importantly, she's confident. Very confident fighter. Yeah. I remember when I fell in love with her. And she has a quiet mean streak to her. Yeah, she does. She reminds... Uh, uh, it's like your girlfriend. I'll say Maya's girlfriend. Maya's girlfriend. What are you oh, telling she, me? Hey, she said Maya's <laughs> so sweet. Bro, Maya's girlfriend will, will rip your fucking head off. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> I tell it. you all the time, she's crazy. That's how Sinisa is. Cold-hearted. Just like it. Yeah. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. It like, won't think twice. Like Rick James said. Yeah. He won't think twice. What happened? I don't know. You know the production value for for this card isn't isn't at, at you know the creme de la creme. Exactly, that's true. You would think that it would still keep up, you know, the quality because people are still watching it, but they don't because it's not a quality. Not judging product. by the numbers, there's only 139 people watching it. There's only four yeah. watching my stream. Yeah. Hello. So. Yeah. That's crazy. If if a uh, golden boy was smart, what? If they were smart, they would start having Cesar Estrada co-main event Canelo undercards. They would wanted to build her up. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. And she started co-main event. Yeah. But she had to put her, like, in a big fight. But the whole thing is that... Like, you gotta put Canelo her against... Canelo would sell out... Uh, you look at the, what they're thinking about. Canelo would sell out the fight for himself. I know. So... That's the point. You want to get as many eyeballs on the woman as possible. Right. To that point, extent. But if it's, if he's... He, everything is money. If you put it on in that card... She, they're not gonna make money off that card as much as they will if they, if they be like this. They're not gonna make money off a Canelo card. No, they're gonna make money off the Canelo card, but not off Sinisa by herself. They want to see how she's gonna do. They will in the future if they put it on a Canelo card. Cause more people know who she is. You build her profile up. Okay, I got you. My main man Joe says, "BT, I'm sending you PayPal tomorrow when I get paid." Shout out to you and your pops. All right, man. Do you, um, Thank you, guy. Do you know how to get me get uh, reach me on PayPal? It's, it's in my channel. You, sh you I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen it. But if you don't know, it's right there in my about section. Thank so. you so much, and God bless. I appreciate you, Joe. And listen, any one of you for you out there, if you want to support what I got going on here at True School Sports, you can PayPal me at True School Sports Twenty Twelve at right gmail.com. and it goes right back to the channel, and it helps me travel and get around and you know okay, get to the heavyweight factory yeah. and get to other gyms in South Florida and go to England like I'm going to now and. Yeah. These things would not be possible without your views and, and your you donations help. and your support. So if you want to see me go to L.A. or your town or England, some help support. Yeah. You know? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. If you give a, if you give a blessing, we we'll get a blessing. Exactly. We're not asking, we're just saying. You give a blessing, we get a blessing, and then the blessing you give us becomes your ultimate your blessing because it yeah. spawns more content. I mean, I was doing some other boxing channel the other day, and he was, say, he was saying the same thing, basically. Like the more support you get, the more you'll be able to put out more better content because you'll be able to go see other fighters and stuff. Good, yeah. yeah. You're fine. If the camera yeah. fades this way, it's not. The heavyweight champion of the world. La Guanita. They can't see her. Mi esposa. They can't see her. I know. La que yo adoro mucho. La Guana. Yeah, but um. Do you think AJ will win the rematch with the same trainer? Oh, you know what's funny when you ask that question? Absolutely not. My, my son, my son was telling me like right after the fight, that's one thing he needed to change. Immediately. And that's funny you asked that question. I, I don't agree with that. I just think just because he had one bad fight. I, um, one. I, I mean, I'm talking about Joshua. One. What? what, what, what why you been watching? I'm saying the one, this main one. Where he just lost to. Uh, you didn't watch Carl's talking fight. We were struggling against Carl. And 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 so, to me. You have to go out there and do the fight, not the trainer. Yeah. If your mind's not in there, then, you know, whatever. But then again, my son said, like he said, change, change is good and he needs it. He's been watching them for years and it's the same old pop thing. He was cute there. That could be, that could be my, my boys, uh, you know. What, did, what, what, what do you mean? It was on the original title. Like, you know how you have the uh, WBC, the Bellator, 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 the Bellator
Latino title? Yeah. That's Latino regional. regional title, yeah. How about the one we were reading about yesterday you showed me about uh, the P? I have that? no idea what the fuck that was. <laughs> I don't remember what the that WBC was. WBC covers are crazy stuff. WBC is crazy. And, and I thought we were Bob Evans when he said that. He said, that let's come up with a kind of. It is impossible not to like Sanisa as Strada and Sanisa as So you agree with all these changes? Did you change the trainers? Yep. She bad, she bad. It's go time. There's no more time for her to warm up. It's time for her to come out and show everybody that came out to watch her. She called the cape. I love that. She got that tape. And show her her fans why she's headed to a world title. Who would she fight though in the, in the class? No, her, the world champions in her weight class are pretty good actually. Yeah. Yeah. The only good fighters in her weight class are world champions. Oh, so that, that's like the best fights to watch here. Forty-three percent of people are saying the other girls gonna win. Fifty-seven percent are saying Sneezer wins. Wow! So people right, rating this other girl pretty highly. All right, so where we go? More on for the main event. Make sure you smash that like button. Bonus coverage here on True School Sports Thursday night fights. Out the world. You could tell it's like for the women's thing that's not that excitement. You don't hear the fan of the horrors or you can feel it, you know. Remember when I saw Cena Strada fight on the Roman Gonzalez undercard in person? Yeah. Fucking amazing. She can fight. You knew off the bat. I knew before I went to that fight, I knew who yeah. she was. I knew she could fight. Who's this girl? I've been following. Seven. What is this? Uh, and world title oh, fights. Oh. I've been I've been following Cena Strada since twenty. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. I've been I've been I've been off of Nisa Strada. This ain't new. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the hungry, young, and in her prime up and cover. I've been following Nisa Strada when she had like two. She's had seventy title shots. Seven. I mean, seven. Excuse me, seven title shots. And lost all of them. And lost all of them. Why would you even put it on this card? Because she's got world title experience, and if Nisa can't beat this level of opposition, then she shouldn't be fighting in the world title fights. How about you, that? Do you agree with that? That's how boxing works. Yeah. You can't beat a certain level of opposition. It's called gatekeepers. Right, uh, right. You can't beat them. Why Why are you going to put up somewhere else? It's like Henry Revolta says. you got to check under the hood sometimes. When the police don't mention that man around me, he's going to get knocked out into a hood. Real quick, I put him in the hood. Fucking guy gets me pissed off every time. Why? I don't like him. He's a great, he's a great promoter. Legendary. Hall of Famer. Yeah, why don't you ask Blake Davis that? Damn. Uh-oh, here she comes. Lisa Estrada. East LA's very own. The third scheduled 10 round fight. Never fought past the eighth round. Who are? She was here early today, soaking it all in. The fans love this young lady. Her dad took her to a gym when she was young because she's coming out to Rob Base. It takes two. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that thought was crazy. It's only a sword. She was beating the shit out of her. <laughs> oh, my. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. We're moments away. Sinisa Strada is about to make her way into the ring. She's in the ring now. Right? She's in the ring. Yeah, she's in the ring. Yeah. Good body shot. Oh, wait. I'm just sitting here watching highlights commentating. Yeah, so Sinisa Strada building her way up here. Women's boxing. Trying to make a name for herself. Accompanied by her dad and trainer. Our good friend, our dear friend, Joe Cool. Shout Say, out on Instagram. Uh, Big shout out to Joe. Oh, I know seven one inch class. Okay. Sinisa Estrada comes in with a three inch reach advantage. She's seven years younger. She's two and a half inches tall, which is pretty impressive because Sinisa Estrada is not taller than many people. I mean, shit, I'm taller than Sinisa Estrada, which is, you know. Shit, you're taller than me. And I can't hear you. She's taller than you. Yeah, is she? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Muxy Bowles is almost taller than me. He is taller than you. Yeah. He's three inches taller than you. That was, sick. <laughs> that was his shoes he had on. Avalon Hollywood here at the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Tonight, Oscar De La Hoya Well, they always just fight her in Los Angeles. They don't pull nobody out. That's because they the money. Because that's where the team that sells tickets. Until, she yeah. get, until, until they blow her up, they're not going to take her out of, out of L.A. Across the United States and streaming around the globe on ringtv.com. Sponsored by the Gothic, the official beer of boxing. 
Tonight's main attraction scheduled for 10 rounds for the WBC Women's Silver Light Flyweight Championship. WBC Silver. Silver is a regional title. It is, right? Yeah. That's the title she has now, right? Yeah. I'm just saying, like, how many fucking belts you gotta have? A lot. You know, you know when they say out of the belts who are talking? Yeah. Which one? How many of them? Fucking freaking million of them. The three judges scored the belt at ringside are Pat Russell, Kamala Kais, and Jack, Jack Reese. Wow, Jack Reese. The great referee for the referee to Tyson Fury. Oh, no, he's judging Jack Reese. Oh. Jack Reese is judging this fight. Make sure, wow, there's only one, one, one person here watching me right now. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Basically, it's all good. We're, we're, we're like FaceTiming right now. Yeah, it's all good. I didn't, I, I didn't expect a lot of views for this. We, that's, well, hey, we still just enjoy talking boxing. Sinisa wins by a knockout. I got Sinisa and a very tough. I see it going seven, that's it. Oh, damn, she hasn't fought in 319 days? Oh, damn, she's gonna get stopped. All right, I turned up it. She's gonna stop in four rounds. Six kills and 23. She's ready. She's ready. Get knocked out, yeah. Woo, she's the champ. They got the cape. She's mad. She's so mad. She's so mad. She why is that? How do you say? They mad as fuck. <laughs> They mad because they mad because I'm spinning. I'm spinning. My man, she, another one. She, what's up, champ? He's a watching, and another one. Right now, we're watching the finest woman's boxer to ever exist, and pretty damn good talented one at that. Uh, Sinisa Estrada. Thursday night fights. You know, true school sports. That was a Tito Tito um, Puerto Rican grandma. I like it. It's like a Tito um, Mad as hell. He's mad as hell. She wants to. She wants to. She wants to bitch slap that girl. Right? You can what's see it. What's this? I'm spinning. He's mad because I'm spinning. Spinning. <laughs> he's one hat. Oh. And he's another one. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner. She wants to keep that pace. It's easier to keep that pace when you get knocked out. She's so mad. She said Shot got that killer look in her eyes. Anthony Joshua should take notes. So she said Shot. How do you, you a matchmaker, matchmaker and, get, and get a lady? Gretchen, Gretchen uh, Abano in the red trunks. Yeah. She said Shot. How do you. Whoa, she's coming for She's her. coming for her. Man, she's pressing she press action. She wants some smoke. Sneez better be on her. She better. Be, she better be ready to fight tonight. Gretchen looks like she wants to smoke. As we noted, it's a tale of the tape. She's at the height and reach disadvantage. Sneez is trying to fainting and uh, trying to frame with her jab and stepping with the right. How do you? How do you match me and get a a, a, a late uh uh whatever experience the title a three a three hundred some time off boxing. almost a year. That was a lot. Yo, she's she active though. Yeah, she's that Gretchen, Gretchen Abel, Bob Banyo. She's she's pressing the action. She's trying to make this a, a fight. She knows that Sneesa has advantage in speed, reflexes, and probably power as well. Yeah. And, th and there she goes, Sneesa Shaw. She's in the southpaw. Wow, that know she changed. She, yeah, she can do that. Sneesa Shaw can switch the southpaw. She switches, she switch, he's switching the southpaw. And you see Sneesa Shaw right now trying to get get in there. Get in there. She doesn't want to sit there and fight with Gretchen yeah, yeah. Banyo, but she's uh fainting her seat. Seeing what she what what she what Gretchen's giving her with the feints and uh, punching and shoulder movements. There you go. That's a scoring shot there for Gretchen. Yeah. Good left hook there from Sinisa Estrada. The, you can find a stream for the fight if you go on ringtv.com. Go on ringtv.com. It'll be right there on the front page. Not wrestling. <laughs> Yo, this girl Gretchen is pissing Sneeza off. She just held yeah. her kind of like. It was gonna wrestle move. It was a wrestling move on that girl. She needs to make sure she doesn't fall in with her punches. She's just falling with her punches a bit. All right, 
Alright, go to first round then. Who you get that round to? I think Jeff won that round? Yeah, I think. He's more active in the beginning, but I, but I guarantee you, uh, Sinise is figuring it out. I get Gretchen that round. I, I think Gretchen won that round. Yeah, I think Sinise is figuring it out, though. My man, Henry Brown. Shouts out to you, champ. Oh, Henry, what's going on, man? That five-hour super chat. Well, thank you, Henry. He said, LOL, Dipset, Santana. Hey, remember the babyface brawler? Layla <laughs> Ali, still the champ. Tyson Fury needs to get past Tom Schwartz before worrying about AJ. I agree, he does. And, uh, yeah, man. One thing I don't like about Tyson Remember, Fury. remember Adam Connor? He left him remember Adam Connor. You can't forget about him. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's really <laughs> super chatting us. Thank so, you, man. Appreciate so it. So we don't forget who Adam Connor is. Okay, the it's all good. We'll be live for a fight against um, Chris Ariola. Yep. What well, I was going to say, um, the only thing I don't like about Tyson Fury, even though it calls attention on a press conference, is uh, I like kissing stuff. Yeah, that's too much. I mean, I like Tyson, that's too much. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, he's going to run to the point, he's going to punch him in his mouth right there. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Alright, so round two, Sneeze Estrada just comes right, jumping right up on, like, in the middle of the ring. She's fainting with her shoulders. You know, Gretchen comes in and throws a one two, misses on both of them. Sneeze Estrada slips, rolls to her right. Keeps the fight in the center of the ring. But Gretchen looks like she's strong, though. She does. That's why I see Sneeze out. Oh! Sneeze is very Roy Jones like, so she relies on her speed and reflexes. Sometimes she has a tendency to throw her hooks a bit wide, and I think that's what Gretchen's looking to punch in between those wide ass hooks. Yeah, throwing. going right like through there. Uh, she's trying to cut her. Uh, uh, you know, so far, I, I think Sneeze is boxing it decently, but she she hasn't really settled into a, a, a groove or a good rhythm so far. That's because Gretchen is coming in. Yeah, look at that. Give her credit, too. Let's start a true school boxing Telegram channel. What, what do you what do you mean by Telegram channel, Henry? And thank you for the, 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 the super chat. What do, what do you mean Telegram yeah, yeah. channel? Yeah, yeah good over here right there by Sneeze Estrada. Feature, a three-day feature on her in the LA Times when she was. What do you mean by that? Right, Gretchen's taking these little half steps back because Sneeze says she when she loads them on the left hand, you know, Gretchen just takes a half, half step back and that punch falls short. If she go if she get right there in the corner, she put get be able to get in the corner, forget about it. Get in there. Man. Good right hand of the body by Sneeze. So that's that's a punch I think she needs to keep throwing. That straight right hand of the body. She gotta do something. I think Sinisa needs to make a statement. If she wants that uh, Marlena Sparza fight, you know, she needs to make a statement here tonight. Yeah. We're going to say, um, well, look, they never showed the lady the other uh, her opponent's record. They just said she was seven. Gretchen, 18, she's 18, 18, 10, and 2. Something like that. Okay. Something like that. All right, so round two, who you giving that to? I'm going to give it to Sinisa? Yeah. I'll give it to Sinisa. But she's just trying to figure her out. She will eventually. She's got a cut on above her head. Damn, a big ass cut uh, on the side of her head. It looks, looks like it's just like a nail or something, like a fingernail. But yeah. So she says, "Shout out with some adversity here in the second round." Got a big ass cut. Telegram channel where we talk about all boxing and or combat sports fam. It's an app people download and chat anytime. That way we can grow the YouTube channel even faster and build up the True School Boxing as a brand. I'll look into it, man. I'll look into it. Tele was it Telegram? It's called Telegram? Wow. Thanks for the idea, Henry. Thank you for the idea, man. Appreciate that. Eventually, at some point, I want to get a podcast going. Like a, like a, a, a weekly, wow, that. Oh, weekly podcast. That's crazy. Yeah, she's... How did she get hit like that? How did she cut up like Probably head clash. You can use your computer if you want. See, she's trying to cut him. She's trying to get, cut, cut her distance. She needs to get more active. She, she ends up setting up her punches. She needs to get more active. What's funny is, Sinise says she's doing a, a lot of shoulder fakes. She's trying to get it to, 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 to open up. What's going to happen? But, oh, there you go. Good, good counter left yeah, hand she go by, by, by Sinise. This is probably her she best step spell forward. fight she so step far. Step forward, step forward. Step forward. For those punches, you got to step forward. There you go. Get in the corner right there, like I said. Right hand, left hook. If you lock her in the corner, she's all yours. Nosy, nosy Rosie, what's up, champ? What's going on, guys? Get her in the corner. Walk her into a corner. 
Sinisa. There you go. And she, and she switches from all the locks to southpaw on the middle of her punches. Yeah, she's picking her up, but she got to step with that punch more. Step with her punch. Good body shot there by Sinisa. Wouldn't be in the zone. Get in the corner right there. I know. <laughs> That's not really good for go. them. Straight I'm, right hand I'm there by the body by Sinisa Estrada. It's ridiculous. Every fight is something. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Double left hook there by Sinisa Estrada. Come on, Sinisa. Get her in the corner. She's all yours. Hi. Thanks for waiting for your fans. I Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome, those heroes. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Doing. He's grateful that you. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Hit that like button, guys. We need it. Hit that like button. Like button. Like button. Like button. There you go. See, okay, now she needs to set into the good rhythm. She's trying to set up a left hook. Yeah. Get her in the corner. I'm trying to tell her. She'll eat her alive. She's to keep her in the corner. She got to step over with the damn foot. Though. Step, come She's on. stepping in with the jab, though. Stepping yeah. with the jab, working behind. That's what you want. Yeah. And you want the power. Hey, oh, yeah. good body shot there. And a oh. right hand. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so few people here. Nobody watches women's boxing. Yeah, that's true. It's all good. But I like I like Sneeze Estrada though, so I'm watching. Yeah. <clears throat> True school can be paid a crypto, a boxing crypto coin where all things boxing combat can be used in crypto checkout digital as asset investor in crypto. You getting deep on me, Henry, with all that cryptocurrency talk. <laughs> all that all that talk about blockchain technology. Ooh. Hey, hey. So you give me some ideas. Woo! Oh man, she said Estrada's pouring it on. Yeah. I'm gonna refresh because this is too much. We'll finish you off right here, boy. But yeah, but uh, ain't, ain't all that crypto uh, coin thing, people don't make a lot of money off of that. What are you talking about? It's not as big as you think it's no, not. People the value. Tons of money. What are you talking about? No, it's not as big as we think it is. Do you use cryptocurrency? I don't look at that. I just tell you what I, Do what you I read. Do you use cryptocurrency? No. So you don't know nothing about cryptocurrency? Trust, I don't need to you use You know who I know personally who's made money on cryptocurrency? Who? Pablo. Okay, that's fine. He's made money, but that doesn't mean it's a big thing now. It's not. If it's still, but I mean, it's a good idea, Henry. We can do it. it's functioning and active, people are making money. Some people are. Not everybody. But it's, it's not really too money. I don't listen today. If I listen today, I would have a YouTube channel. Who? If I listen today. Yeah. I don't listen today. I'm just telling you. They don't know. If you Google up... Uh, anyways, it's a good idea, though. I'm not hating on I just think... Oh! Man. Big left hook by Sneeza Estrada. Oh, man, she's, she got cut up on her head. What she's you think? She kicking her ass. Get her in the corner. Don't walk it out. Get back in the corner. Get her in the corner. XRP vet TRX been in it for you. I'm going to write that down. What do you say? I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to invest. I'm, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to get into those. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, man, I think she might. Have another big left hand for Sneeza Estrada. I'm, 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 I'm about to... I mean, Harry be Harry be super chatting me like nobody else, like no tomorrow. So yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Might be, he must be making some hey, money in crypto. Sometimes, sometimes the people that we least think gonna give us good advice give us the best advice. It's true. X Kudos R to Henry. P Thank you. That. How much does crypto thing coins cost? Like ten? They're all different. Like a dollar fifty cents? No, they're all different. He's trying, he's trying to save your own crypto night with true school sports and then people buy into I it. I probably should. People buy to your channel. You, you know, like a sports team thing? Like what the Green Bay Packers do. You know Evander Holyfield had his own cryptocurrency at one point. I think he still does. He does? You should ask him about it. This dude said, bro, I've been in crypto for years. How do you think I super chat you? It's true. Hey, thank you, man. Bro, what the hell is going on with the screen? I wanna... you, you, you should ask um, Holyfield. He, he, he had to go to an investor for all the stuff, rather too. Yeah. He, he's not gonna invest money, millions or whatever he's got just like that. So, but I know. I think. I think. I think Oscar does it too. I think Dylan Holyfield does it. A lot of people do it. Yeah. So I mean, can't hate on something that make money. Jesus yeah. Christ, this, like, this stream is horrible. Damn. Shit is horrible. I'm only really gonna hate the zone. The zone's pissing me off. That's Eddie Hearn. Eddie, Eddie, the zone is Eddie Hearn's platform. 
John, John Skipper's platform. Fuck. Oh. Like the fourth. Why are you put this thing like at the. So we're gonna hit refresh, guys. Give me one second. Jesus Christ. Help us out. I think he I think he stopped her. Huh? I think he stopped her. Like I think she I think she stopped her. Yep. You know what? Just taking her gloves off. I think Sneeze tried to stop the girl. But I can't tell because the zone is being trash. Bro, this is ridiculous. I've been waiting for this fight the whole time. And could be the weather too, brother. No, it's not the weather. It's just trash it's the zone being trash. Not the zone. It's it's not even to, to Ellie, it's not you know it's not it's not really on the zone because I'm not watching it on the zone. I'm watching it on Ring T V. So I thought you gonna figure out. Spot there in the corner beat the crap out of her. Okay. Honestly, I don't know anything about cryptocurrency no easy really, so you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah. Oh, play. it's the fifth round. He gonna look into it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe I could start my own cryptocurrency. True, true school cryptocurrency. You laugh about it? Perhaps. But, honestly, ask um, Holyfield. Because they're not going to invest their money, especially him with money, just like that. He had to go somewhere. No, as he really said, I agree with that. I wouldn't invest in cryptocurrency. Coin market cap website, then watch digital asset investor working money channel crypto. Do, 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 do research. I'm doing my research. But I mean, I appreciate that you all saying because you guys are probably right, and you're successful in it. So I don't, I don't, I'm not bashing nobody, but I, I have an opinion. I've heard of all kinds. Of There's the referee. As, so they just stopped the fight in the yep. fifth round, but we're not gonna see what the fuck's gonna happen because horrible. But Holy Fields is like, no. So, Cesar so Dragon's a fifth round stoppage that we completely missed because Ring TV is trash. Oh, Cesar made the girl quit. The girl quit. Yeah, she, she figured her out after, after. She told her trainer, stop it, I don't have any gas, I don't have any... Yeah, you haven't fought in, th in 300 days. What do you think, you're gonna have all that energy? No. In energy, I can't go out another round. If I do, I don't <sighs> have any... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if the hotel we're staying in or if it's... I don't know. <laughs> It's always fucking something. It's always something. <laughs> yeah, the fight is over. Yeah, the fight is over. Cesar tried to stop the girl in the fifth round. We missed it because the stream started acting up. For what reason, I don't know. And now, now it, still won't, it still won't work. You hear we get low signals right now. Low signal? It didn't have, no, it didn't have low signal for like two fights. <laughs> that was the main event. For two fights. So, oh. Every time we have uh, <laughs> a main event. Work for like two seconds, lag. Two seconds, lag. Two seconds, lag. We won't get to the official announcement because this shit is basura. She wore her out. I did. I don't. I don't. I broke her down. She. 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 She fell. She, she, she fell on the left. The left hook started landing. From orthodox and softball, she started shooting the right hand of the body and folded her up. She folded her up like, like, like a steel chair. Monday Night Raw. And are driving the there you into go. The ropes. Nope, never mind. Never mind, can't have that. I can't even see the damn highlights how she stopped her. You will. 
When? Next year? Look at well, guys, uh, shots, boom, look at that boom. Boom. I mean, he tore up. So he's a tore up. Ain't no more Wall She won another W for her. And, um, Uh, yeah, well, I'm not watching it on the zone, but the zone is doing part of the streaming because the fight is being streamed on Ring TV, and it's a like golden boy with the zone, but it's not on the zone, because I thought, because I heard it was on the zone, so I went on the zone, but it wasn't on the zone, so I don't know if that makes any sense, but, yeah, I mean. but yeah, big, really good performance from Sinisa Estrada, exceptional talent, um, yeah. Really went for Sinisa, you know, fantastic performance from a fantastic fighter. And, um, yeah, that's what it is. They gonna interview her? Are you still cool with the zone? Honestly, man, I'm getting pissed off. I mean, I like the prices. I mean, it's affordable, but shit, like the... When I'm alive for these things, <clears throat> and, and, I don't want to lag. And what happens lately, what, what we've been noticing is that it just lags, or, or when the big fights are coming on... I mean, I, I, which, 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 fight, which fight was it where uh, the people were saying, everybody was complaining because they were lagging. There was one big fight we were trying to watch, and everybody had problems. And, and, they, and they, the zone, and they were like, damn. The zone Canelo said, versus uh, Daniel Jacobs. Yeah, and they just and the zone just said, oh, we'll take care of it in a second. We'll take care of it in a second. Well, the second that you take taking care of, we're missing the whole fight that we pay for. <laughs> You think Tyson Fury stops uh, Tom Schwartz this weekend? Absolutely. Uh, I was saying, uh, I don't know if you were, uh, you, you probably weren't on, on live yesterday when I was live at like 2 in the morning, but um, I was saying that this, that this fight with Tom Schwartz reminds me of his fight with Christian Hammer. Um, and I actually think Tom Schwartz is not even as good as Christian Hammer, so I think it's going to be a demolition job. He will get stopped the same way Christian Hammer did. And yeah, so I think he's going to stop the uh, middle rounds. Little Jake, what's up, champ? Going on, little Jake. How's everything going? He said, "True, you got the coolest dad. You lucked out, son. Yeah, I did. That I did. <laughs> that I did. Yeah. Yo, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys. I know you see him in these videos, and I'm not, he is very cool. This motherfucker's crazy. That's what happens. You can't. When, that's, what, that's what happened when you jump out of a plane, uh, for the military plane for so many years. Yo, this you cannot take this guy nowhere because he, he argues. He's he's always gonna yell at someone or get into an argument Listen, about something. I'm OG." And I don't take no jump from nobody. And if somebody's talking down to me, I'm going to say something. <laughs> Henry's, Henry said it's time to start trolling. When, uh, 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 <laughs> why, why, why is Bo still ducking Lewis? <laughs> He's trolling. Oh, no. <laughs> He's hey, come trolling. on, Henry. Yay. Get, get why, this crowd going. Why is Adam Kanaki still ducking Vermaine Stavern? Why did, why, the real question is why did Bronze Bomber, Dylan White, and King Kong didn't fight hey, Joshua. Someone asked who wins right now, uh, Lennox Lewis or Riddick Bowe? Right now, the fight today. Oh shit! Are you serious? I got Riddick Bowe. I got Bowe got some big hands, man. If he hits you with those hands, <laughs> then I got I, my son. I was asking the other day, Joe, Foreman, who had bigger hands? Foreman and him, and, and, and uh, they were saying that Foreman got some big hands, but probably one of the biggest hands in boxing is the Bowe. Bowe was a big boy, uh, and he's not from the country like. Uh, like Holyfield, uh, the, but he's big. Hey, he, what, 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 the what, city. what did Holyfield uh, both say about Holyfield? Because, you know, Holyfield always talks about his mom. He's like, he's like yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying? My mama said, I can hit you before you hit me. And yeah. what did both say? Both said, fuck your mama. Let's go at it. But he was just joking between <laughs> us. That was I mean, funny. It's just like when you have a friend. said that, that it, was it's, hilarious. It's like when you have a friend, you always say, oh, I got to ask my mama. I got to ask my dad. I got to do this. And you, and you can't make decisions for yourself. That's what Bo was saying. Like, I'm tired of this guy. Yo, but he called out Lewis, My mama said, my mama said, I got to hit you before you hit me. <laughs> Listen, I, my son's been more proud than ever to be with two heavyweights that people will never forget. That he spent more time with them. And, and the conversations that they, they, they all have, interactions with both of them, is crazy. And, and I don't know how, what they like, but I love my son. It's crazy. The other day I went there playing some salsa music, some Spanish music. 
And, and, and Holyfield was like, who, who the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You pull up to the gym, you had some El Gran Combo I had a Gran Combo, the salsa music going in, and, and I forgot my son, I pulled out the window, and Holyfield was like, who the hell is that and he in the gym? In the car. Yeah. So, oh, and then, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. you know, you know, no, no, when you say hi, you yell at the top of your lungs because, you know, instead of like turning down the music, <laughs> Turn that music and then say, "Hey, what's up?" Like a normal human being. No, no. You, the music went higher, and you went higher. You over there yelling at Holyfield from across the parking lot. Yeah, that was funny. Holyfield always references his mama. Yeah, he said, "My mama said, you know what I'm saying? My mama said, you gotta hate him before he hates you." Hey, but hear this out. <laughs> I, I guess both been hearing this since he been in the gym every day. Every conversation she's had about his mama. It's never about him, even though it is about Holyfield. And he's tired of hearing it, you know? <laughs> what do you say? He say, fuck your mama. <laughs> I'm fighting you, not your mama. <laughs> but we have fun with it, though. Crazy. But yeah, uh, for those of you just funneling in, Tanisa Estrada had a, a very impressive performance against Gretchen, uh, Avignon, whatever her name it was on. Filipino. Filipino girl, you know, she gave us some tough rounds. She came, she came to fight. You know, she definitely gave a really good right, effort. Cool, but Sinisa Estrada, she started landing that left hook. She said, "Shoop, shoop." But well, she got a bad cut on her head, though. It was over. She got a bad cut, head clash. But that, I think that's woke her up. Woke her right up. All right, so. That's pretty much it. That's that pretty much concludes our uh, live fight reaction. We'll, I'll stay, I'll stay live for a couple more minutes. See what you guys got. Yeah, say. I mean, I guess the, like I said Saturday Fury's back on it again uh, in Las Vegas and uh, at the MGM, and uh, we'll see what's up with him. Well, I, I mean, I like him. I hope he uh, he's gonna win. We know that. The other thing that's him me more about that about I like Fury. I just don't like his press conference no more. The way he gets. You want to kiss the guy and all this shit. He did like that. that. He did that on his first fight back when he fought. Yeah, I don't like that though. That's, I mean, I, 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 it's understandable it sells, but not to the point where you're getting all over the guy and stuff. I'll knock the shit out of you. It's gonna happen to him. Remember the uh, <laughs> who was the guy? Um, took a Shane Mosley. What's his name with a cigarette? What happened there? <clears throat> on, on the press conference, she got Shane Mosley and uh, Maria got more. Mayoga. Yeah, my, what, what, what happened there? The guys came up with a cigarette at this place and get that shit on my head. <laughs> That's gonna happen to uh, Fury. The Fury can put his lips on pe on guys. Can get knocked out. Right there. Won't, they won't be have to go in the Henry, ring. Henry out here heavy trolling right now. <clears throat> I, I he like said, Henry. Why you get me going, man? He said Wilder, Wilder, Wilder jobs Bo in the first round like he did in Brazil. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Wilder drops Bo? Rod, Rod Sarko would drop uh, Adam Kanaki. Oh, my God. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. You wanna know smoke with lightning rod Salka? Vegas is only five hours away. I should have went. Yeah, you should have went, man. But probably the fight was cheap too, right? No. Thirty dollars. Hell no. You think Bob Barron running? You know, you know, you know his promoter is. Who's? Tyson Fury. Do you know his promoter is? Yeah. Who is him? Okay. What do you think about Bob Barron? He's Jewish and he got money. Stay the number one. Stay the number one. Say he's a lawyer. Say the number one. Brother, that guy got all the money in the world. He can't take it to his grave. He's, he's, he's in the last. Listen. God bless him, but I'm saying he's in the last. Listen. listen of, of the last. And have, he's still. Have you, how, how, how old are you? How young are you? I'm 51. 51, okay. In your 51 years of earth, how many people have, how many people have you ever heard say, man, I just had too much money? Shit, they, they, they're the opposite. Exactly. I want more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have heard anybody say, man, you know what? I had too much money. This is just getting too hard, man. <clears throat> it was funny. I, I forgot what fight it was a couple of months or uh, years ago he signed. And he the, the, the box came all strapped up with looking nice, belts, jeans and everything. And then after they signed with Bobby, he says, damn, for old man, shit, you need to change your, your clothes. You, you had loafers on, cheap pants Why on. Why does he care? Who are we trying to impress? He and, got and, and he's got social security coming anyway. If he even gets that, I don't think he gets it. But I'm just saying, like, that guy said. But I mean, once you we reach a certain age and you have all that money, he don't care if he wear, if he if, if he's doing a press conference in his underwears. Okay, but none of that. No, he don't. I mean, but I I, I gave credit to Bob Aaron because he did. He was very knowledgeable. Uh, what he was what he was saying about the how did Joshua get that fight where he's right away when technically. He's got to fight two mandatories to get back to where he to get that fight with the real champion. Yeah. So I mean, I, whether he's speaking facts or not, he, for an old man like I was telling my son, his brain is like his mind is still there. Crackling bright. Jeez. Very smart guy. Yeah. Very, so very smart guy. Kudos to him and, and now him and 
He even got what, the, uh, the monster sign. The monster sign with top rank. What what happened there? He had all these other options. He signed with Bob Arum. Why? It's a good business decision. I know because ESPN. Bob Arum also, the same has, way that, Bob Arum uh, also has Ryan Burnett who uh, lost to no, uh, Donaire because of that injury. Yeah. So the thinking is if Norway signs a Bob Arum, he can fight Ryan Burnett. You know, be a big fight. Somebody better sign Chocolatito. He's coming. His birthday's coming up, and that's another thing. We're Monday, gonna have Monday, Monday. Monday. You but might, you guys might, you guys might get, get a, 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 a Monday, a, a special Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez video because it's, it's his birthday. So fuck it, we're, we're gonna give you a Roman Gonzalez appreciation video for his birthday. And here at True School Sports, he's a P for P, right? P for P, king for life. That's it's it. Real TBE. That's it. Andy Ruiz Jr. speaking as if he already whooped AJ again. He wants the Wilder. He wants Wilder. The Fury. I think he want beats both of them. Then Fury may have his. We're cut out. Nah, he's not being Fury. You got me messed up. Who said that? Andy oh. Ruiz. But we'll see, man. You can never can underestimate him. Doesn't Disney own ESPN? So Fury has all that. Yes, Disney owns. So yes. Yeah. Uh, when he when he wins when he becomes undisputed, you, you'll get one of those corny. Uh, you know those commercials they they have for all the teams when they win the. Yeah, let's go when, to Walt uh, Disney. Oh, yeah. When you wish upon oh, my God. a star, <laughs> you, you got Tyson Fury throwing jabs as long as makes no difference who you are. <laughs> Anything is possible. And, and what? Bronze Brown was going to be just say, like a fairy? They're, they're, they're going to say, they're gonna say, Tyson Fury, you just became the Unispeed Hayboy champion. No, what are you going to do now? <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland. He go, he, you know, he's he going to eat that up. He's going to eat that up. Oh, my so, yeah, God. he's got Disney behind him. He, he's got the possibility to make one of those kind of commercials. And they love him. I mean, Frank Warren is always laughing at his press conference. You don't know what to expect from him. Yo, your fight is easy work for Romo Gonzalez. He should fight Kosi Tanaka. Yo, listen. If Romo Gonzalez fight Kosi Tanaka and beat him, Retire. That's the perfect way to go out. I want you to fight Estrada again and get the belts. No, Tanaka is better than Estrada. Is he? Yeah, you don't know what. Tanaka. Yeah, but Estrada got the belts, right? No, no, no Tanaka is in the weight class. Tanaka, Tanaka better than Estrada. Okay, what what weight class is Tanaka in? Tanaka's at a uh, one twelve. The like, weight, weight class. Roman Gonzalez old weight class. I think. Okay, so. Right. He, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He's at one twelve. I'm not mistaken. No, but what I'm saying is, if uh, the way he's more comfortable at. Yeah, the, the, like you were saying, but if Estrada's there, you know why I, 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 I want to fight Estrada because. Strata beat Ring, whatever the guy's name, wrong saying, and and if and if Chocolatito beats him, uh, Strata again, I don't see he gets those belts, I don't see and, and and then he beat the guy that beat Wrong Say. How about that? Don't mean anything. It means something. It means nothing. Because the title make fights. It means nothing. He's gonna have the title. If Fury becomes undisputed, then watch out, Gypsy King movie, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I agree. <laughs> Become. You better stop drawing the, 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 the comic books because they're going to sell. I, I, I can just see it now. You can see like in slow motion, you're going to see when you, you wish upon hey, a star. You, you'll see slip, very you're slip see punches in his, slow motion. Yep, yeah, with his crazy ass. Uh, I mean, at first, I, I, when I seen him wearing them shorts when he goes in the ring and everything, I said, man, there's something wrong with this man. But then I found out that he does it to uh, uh, support testicle cancer. That's it. Well, he lost a friend. <laughs> Hear this out. Are you serious? Yeah, he lost he lost a friend to testicle can cancer. Testicular cancer, yeah. Yeah, what it was called, and, and, and uh, and, and that's why he wears. At first, I said, man, this man is what the hell is he doing with those goddamn ugly ass shit on? So, be aware. If he goes see Mickey Mouse and Goofy, you guys let me know how he dresses up, <laughs> cause I want to know. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that, but that's what he does. Uh, I didn't know that either. So yep. you put you put me on game. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I'm so I learned I learned something new. I was like, wow. So I gotta <laughs> give props to him. He does a lot of crazy stuff, but I mean. I don't. I mean, he see like he like uh, Bob Arum. He think that, that they're gonna sell a lot of CT in the US and a lot of people are gonna pop big big following. Well, I think he's. I honestly I'll tell think you one thing. More followers than Bron Bron I've Bron been watching ESPN a lot because you know been in the hotel. Yeah. I've been seeing promos for this guy a week. I'm like, what the hell was this promotion for Terrence Crawford? <laughs> I don't know. Man. What the hell is the promotion for Lomachenko? I always say it's up to the promoters to promote their best, the fighters to, to get to get for them to get known, even if they have the bigger fights or not. Honestly. Yeah. They have to have the uh, the right promoter. And that's why I like Eddie Hearns. I think, to me, he's the best promoter out there. Don't tell that to people on Facebook. I'll just tell you the way it is. I mean, he interacts with everybody, whether he's right or wrong. And he brings the names of his fighters out there, and that's what you want. Where's Al Heyman? Yeah, he's, yes, yes, I know. Al, Al, Al Heyman's I the... know, he's the uh, the kingpin of boxing. He's the, uh, what's it, what, what, what was that guy that was the big drug lord in uh, Las Vegas, or whatever was his name? Muggsy, or whatever his name was. You, got, you all help me with this one. He's a big dog of all the mafiosos in uh, in the mafia world, and that's why we don't see him. Don Corleone. No, there was a guy in Las Vegas. Al Capone. Was, yeah, Al Capone. Al Capone. There you go. El Ham is an Al Capone of boxing. You never see him, but he's very powerful. You know what I mean? 
So uh, if he's so powerful, then why is he selling PBC? I don't think he's still gonna sell it. He is selling PBC. He, he has to. He has to. Yeah, he pissed away half a billion dollars. He has to. A half a billion dollars, Jesus. Yeah, he has to sell PBC. The hedge fund that gave him the money is making himself PBC because he can't get him the money. Oh wow! So, but, but he's got his money. So he's not gonna lose. No, he's a billionaire. Al Hammond's got Illuminati money. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying he, <laughs> he is not gonna lose. Al Hammond got that Illuminati. And when money. he go to Harvard, yeah, forget about it. He's he's not gonna lose. He's gonna make sure. I but heard, but I, but, I but I'll tell you this: if they sell, if if, if PBC sell gets sold because it's for Al Hammond, they, they're gonna lose out on a, on a guy that even me, I'm not, I'm not his favorite guy, uh, favorite fan of his, but I do have to respect the business aspect of what he's done for the for boxing, even though he's pissed away a lot of. Money's also brought in good fighters to his, to his uh, what you would call it? Henry says uh, that uh, they're saying that that sale's not gonna happen because he has Andy Ruiz and that Andy Ruiz might have saved TBC. I read that before, but I don't. I, I mean, one fighter with all the three belts is gonna actually a Mexican American heavyweight champion. Yeah, it's never we had this, never had this before. No, I mean, you. I mean, it could happen. I read. I read the same. If thing. they were smart, they would not fight Joshua next. They were smart. Who? Uh, I would milk the hell out of this. If I was, I'll, 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 make, I'll milk the living hell out of Andy Ruiz for all I could. He's well, fighting. With? He's fighting Tom Schwartz after Tyson Fury. He's fighting Tom Schwartz. Then he's fighting Sinek Gashi. Then he's fighting Dick Derek Chisora. He's fighting C class fighters and bums. Nobody's gonna go see he's a Mexican American heavyweight champion in Los Angeles and in Mexico. Yeah, and, but I don't think it's gonna get Listen, the stuff all over. If they see a Mexican American heavyweight champion in, in them parts, you know how much money they can make. You know how big he'll be. He'll be the biggest star in boxing well, history. I, I know he just recently went to Mexico and the Mexican president. The president uh, gave him props and and they uh gave him whatever and he talked to them and everything so, kudos to him but um, uh, I mean I, I just don't think one um boxers can carry the whole, the, no I don't think I mean the whole what the the whole boxing uh, uh do you know who we'll Anthony see. Joshua is do you know who Canelo is yeah they were they've been doing it for years yeah I know that's what they call him the do you know who Manny Pacquiao guy. is yes okay these guys have been doing it for years but I I don't I, I just know Andy Ruiz. Okay. Once he gets no, no, no. Once he gets let's, let's, okay. Let me let's let's think let, lo- let, 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 let's be quiet. Let's think logically for yeah. a second. Let, let, let's think logically. Okay. Does Canelo get a lot of support? Yes. Do people buy pay per views? Yes. He's what? Mexican. Okay. The Oscar De La Hoya got a point. A lot of support. Yes. He's what? Mexican American. Yeah. Okay. Andy Ruiz is what? Mexican American. And he's also the what? The, right now the three belts. Yeah. And belt. he's the first what? Mexican. Mexican what? American. What? Champion. Of the what division? Heavyweight. And we never had this before. Right. Okay. So. But I don't think it's going to last long. But go ahead. If you milk it, it'll last long. You fight freaking Tom Shorts and Sagan Zagashi and okay, Derek Chisora. If he's going to get offered, let's, what, what I hear, that he got offered, what, $15 million to fight? Uh, Joshua now? Mm-hmm. It, that's the biggest paycheck he's going to get? And if he was smart, he'd get Snickers uh, 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 to endorse him. But he's because, trying. Not him. Promoter ain't doing his job. He might get Wheaties. I don't care what he gets. He's probably pop. I'm saying, if he gets Snickers to, uh, and get a lot more endorsements, he's gonna make a lot more money. Even even if he wins, if he loses the belt. Just to answer you guys' question, one of you asked is Tyson Fury, uh, is Shannon Briggs on Tyson Fury undercard? No, that was a bunch of BS oh, from man. Shannon. My Briggs. son would tell me for years because I always ask my son. I think once every day I ask him about that. He said, Dad, Shannon Briggs. All Shannon Briggs is doing. Do you see what he's doing now? <laughs> no. The la- the last. CPD, he, right? No, 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 no. The last three days on YouTube. He's been posting these clips. From, he probably like worked out one time and just chopped a bunch of clips up and just posting and spreading them out. He he's he's posting all these clips of him uh, riding exercise bikes saying, "Yeah, Andy, you reading a clip? Oh, hey, with the vision. Hey, listen. And then he's gonna give me a shot. He's <laughs> hey, he's begging listen, Andy Reid for a title shot. Listen, we were at the heavyweight factory where uh, Shannon Bray actually trains, and uh, and what's funny is he was shooting all these videos saying he weighed what two forty five. We said two eighty. Two eighty. And he's working out and he's doing all this other stuff. We go to the gym and we ask like the guy. Two days in a row. We ask Bo, because Bo's there all the time. And we ask the other guy, where's Shannon? He ain't nowhere around. So my point is, is dedication and everything. I, I think a lot of it, he just, like my son said, he wants to keep his name relevant with boxing. And this is the way he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to fight again. I thought, actually, I thought when he went to England last time, because he was, oh, I'm going to. No, he's not fighting. Oh, no this year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I mean, so I don't. I, I think it's done. He's done with, with, with boxing. He's just, been done for years. Yeah, he's, my, my son been telling he's me been that. Been conning people for like years. Yeah, but he's just been keeping it relevant, keeping up. That's why you always. I mean, it. I thought like 2015, 2016, when he was like active. Once the Fresno Kendall thing got scrapped, his career was done. Cause he chose it, right? When when he uh when he tested positive, 
and 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 because that would have got him, he would have got the regular WBA title, and it would have positioned him for a title shot. I believe it or not, exactly. he won that fight. But once once that happened, it was over. And I, I mean, he's made his money or whatever, but he's just I don't think he's fighting again. I, I, don't get me wrong, a lot of fans want him to fight. A lot of fans want him to fight again. They're big fans of him. But Someone said it's on Wikipedia. He's on the Fury undercard. He's not. He's not fighting no Tyson Fury undercard. Shannon Briggs doesn't even know what a boxing gym looks like these days. He's barely in the boxing gym. I just was just telling you that we were at the heavyweight factory. Riddick Bowe's there all the time. And, and, and other boxers there. And he's not and, there. He's not they say I only seen him for two days. And that was we, it. We, we, we set up. We actually, my son actually set up to go see him, to do an interview with him. Or to go over there to the box, see if you see him. He was nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. So, it's like you can't always believe the hype you see on Instagram. And I'm not discrediting Shannon it's, Briggs because he's done it up for himself and whatever he's done his time. But what I'm getting at is that um, right, he's not gonna be very, very. Really, I'm, I'm starting to believe what he says, what my son says. That he's just doing it just to make sure that people get a uh, thing. So this man said, "Both still running for Lewis. Come on." Henry, <laughs> he's joking around. He's trolling. He's Who's it, Henry? He's Henry, why you keep messing with me, man? <laughs> you, you, you know, I got no hair. How much more hair? Uh, I, I like, 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 yeah. like already bro said. Cool though, I like already bro said. You can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Yeah. Oh, forget that. <laughs> he don't miss it, man. I <laughs> tell you, that was driving by. It was about 12, 12 o'clock. Guess who I see now? Big red suburban, making a left turn, going to go eat. <laughs> he bro. Oh, I said, damn, he don't miss a meal. <clears throat> Two things he loves. He loves to eat and he loves money. <laughs> <laughs> Who is on the Fury undercard? Um, the main, the co-main event for that fight is uh, you have Jesse Hart taking on Sullivan Barrera. This will be Jesse Hart's light heavyweight debut as he takes on yeah. strong, sturdy Sullivan Barrera, which in a fight which I think will be exciting because yeah. both of them are vulnerable and they both lose big fights. So I don't know who else. Let me check for you. I can't remember that was on the undercard. Check, I'll check right now. Someone said that Tyson Fury is not gonna get a knockout tomorrow because Ben Davidson is the most conservative trainer in the world. I don't know. I mean, they had a, they had, they had Ben going. Davidson is conservative. He's, he's extremely conservative. He, if you listen to his instructions, he's always like, you know, touch him with the right hand and 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 touch and don't and don't throw the left. I mean, just touch him with the right hand. You beat him with the jab. I think um, <laughs> was it Freddie Roach that said that they had a a, a, a a disagreement when they were fighting? Yeah. When he had that fight, so I don't know exactly what. Some people hate Ben Davidson. Some people say he's an overrated trainer because how hard is it to train Tyson Fury? Because he's such a talented, skilled fighter. Hey, easy. Fury said, go get the phone number of those girls over there across the street. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you can be my trainer. He might not be the most conservative. He was like the most conservative trainer in boxing. But damn, when he told me to get them girls' phone number, oh, yeah. shit. It was do, like a light bulb. Do y'all know about that? Tell a story. Do y'all know about that story? So basically, what, what my dad is referring to is so when Tyson Fury was looking for a new trainer and he came across Ben Davidson, they were at a hotel and they were meeting up. So the, he said, okay, Ben, well, if you want to be my trainer, you see those two girls over there? You need to go get the phone numbers. And then Ben laughs, and he's like, no, no, I'm being serious. You go get the, go get the phone numbers. So then Ben goes to talk, talk to the girls, and he, and, he, and he couldn't get the phone numbers. And then he comes back to Tyson, and then he says, okay, well, I guess I'll find another trainer. I guess if you can't get the two girls' numbers, like, I'll, I'll have to find another trainer. So yeah. then Ben said, no, you know what? I'll get the girls' numbers. So then Ben goes, and he gets the girls' numbers. And then Tyson said, okay, you're hired. Yeah, that's cool. And he said the reason why Ben Davidson... Why he wanted Ben Davis to get the phone numbers because because in order to do what he to, in order to do that you know because I guess the girls are very high caliber women yeah. you know they're like nine ten type caliber women he you know he needed to show lots of balls lots of you know yeah yeah it's metal. crazy but he did it but he did it and that's why that's how he became Tyson Fury trainer so that's and a, now he's making money having fun, fun traveling all over the world and everything I'm all flying this place is this crazy. When is Dillian White versus Oscar Rivas fight? If Dillian White somehow bears rebus, then he is. While it's mandatory, if not, her is suing. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a video about that fight coming out real soon, so you stay tuned for it. But um, that fight will be July the twentieth in um at the old two in July the twentieth. She he says Usyk whoops everyone not named Tyson Fury. All he's in the Usyk is gonna whoop everybody not named Tyson Fury. There's only one Tyson Fury. What are you moving up? See what the other cards are. I, I mean, I kind of want to love very well because, you know, Derek Sandals is his trainer. Big, big, uh, best of luck to Derek Sandals this week who's training Sullivan Barrera. Yep. You know, South Florida. Well, he's not South Florida. He's not a South Florida Actually, guy. Yeah, uh, Instagram too. You Instagram then? 
Well, I sent him a message on Instagram. What'd you say to him? Good luck, <laughs> Derek. Jones. And what do you say? He needs a bag. I mean, he's very busy over there. If Solomon Bear loses his fight, fire entire. So Levon. But it's just like the uh, the other two Cuban fighters. Uh, the one just recently fought and got a draw. Uh, the band, band, what is it called? The Volator, the Tony, the Bellany, or whatever they call the two. The, Bartholomew, the Tony, yeah. Bartholomew, yeah. Them guys are boring as fuck. Bartholomew's my, my friend, though. I, I, no, I, I actually didn't think, I'm just saying in general, like, he, like, fights like that, like, how are you going to fight in, in, in what was one of the most boring fights? It's only a three fight card. Is it? What yeah. is it? Michaela Mayer, the women's bi fighter. Okay. Sullivan River, Jesse Hart. Tyson Fury vs. Thomas Schwartz. That's the card. You guys hear that the card on the card? So you have Michaela Mayer, uh, 2016 U.S. Olympian, 10 and 0, looking to go 11 and 0. She's fighting Elizabeth Crespo, 13 and 4. Then you get the co-main event, which is Sullivan Bear vs. Uh, Jesse Hart, and Jesse Hart's light heavyweight debut against a you know strong former world title challenger in Barrera. And then the main event will be Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz. So that's that that's the card. Like, look, you see it in front of me, right? Well, how about um? Those fights. Now I'm gonna find the view. Look up the view. Rivers. Rivers. Somebody asked you about the... Rivers. July 20th. No, not the date. He asked you what was the undercard for the Dylan White and Rivers uh, fight. Uh, did he? Yeah. I mean, look it up again. On the question thing. I just remember him asking about the, the actual fight. Are you sure? Know. I thought he asked you for the undercard. I could be wrong. Nah, he only asked about Dylan White last week. Oh, okay. He asked for the card. But, um, okay. It is what it is. Um, Listen, guys. We've been on for two, live for two hours. So, I'm going to get out because I'm getting a little tired and I got... Some videos that I gotta I gotta go edit, but make sure you guys stay tuned to all the interviews and stuff coming out on True School Sports. There's like tons of videos scheduled. I mean, I can tell you guys right now, I got about fifteen to sixteen videos already scheduled. That's not including the yeah. set, the six or seven that I have to go edit. So, lots of stuff coming out here on TSS. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. I made it a point this year to be consistent on YouTube, so I'm being consistent there on YouTube, go. as consistent as I've ever been. You and know? that's great for all of us and for you guys, and I enjoy it. Thank you for your comments supporting us. I've, writ I've written it down, Henry. Look, I wrote all the cryptocurrencies <laughs> down. I wrote it down. You gonna believe you're gonna study? Matter of fact, Henry, tell him next time I see you, better have an answer for me, right, right, Henry? BT better have an answer on that stuff. Tell him. Make him do his homework. He didn't do it when he was in school. You better do it now. Damn, you put, you, you put, me, on, you put me on blast. <laughs> Just joking. This man's put me on blast. Just joking. Just, you're, not, no, you're, not, you're not lying. I didn't do no fucking homework when I was in school. I, I, Shit, you did good I didn't do no homework when I was in school. I had people do my homework for me. Yeah. I used to. I remember. I remember. I, I, <laughs> I used to have this one oh, Jewish girl do all of my math homework. I think the, the guy that made me laugh was the uh, your, your best one of your best friends, Sean. When you told okay. me when he was absent or whatever, what did he do? What did he call? He got the homework for somebody else. He got the homework for somebody else. Yeah, he called. He call. <laughs> get the homework for somebody else, and that'd well, be it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, crazy, so big man. My, big shout out to my main man, Rashawn. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get off. So you guys have a great night. Like I say, thank you for everything. Single 